All right. Well, good evening, everybody. How's everyone doing? Let me know if you can hear me, see me, have any issues while I finish getting things going here. Just going here, turning off some little things that we just don't need to have around here. All right. Looks like we're up and running. Nobody seems to be complaining. Tony, thanks. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Marty, thanks. That's what we need to know. You all know how this is. One minute, everything's working good. The second you go live, it goes to the left. It goes to the right. You just never know. But good. Glad that everyone here can hear me. So kind of an impromptu thing, but I've got a few emails before ask me about Long Branch if I had uh, went back to it and what I thought. So it's probably been three or four weeks since I last spoke of the uh, expression Long Branch. Um, so I thought just out of the blue, because I saw something, I thought I'll do it. Hey, Bourbon Baller, thanks. Appreciate it, nothing like working and lurking. So I thought just for the heck of it, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this review and talk about it a bit. I had a poll in the stream, if you all see it, let me know, yes, you've had it, no, you have not. I put that up just so I can uh, know exactly who's had what, but also in the chat, you can do the same thing, let me know. But the story goes is my wife saw this and she knows I like Wild Turkey, 101, 101 Rye, Rare Breed, Kentucky Spirit, lot. It's all good. It's all good. I liked it. So she saw the Long Branch. And she picked it up. It's good prices. You know, they're under 40 bucks. So the bourbon itself is at a good price point for anybody looking to pick up a bottle. Um, so she picked it up for me. And I didn't open it right away. I wasn't... Uh, not that I wasn't enthused about it. I just had other things going on and I thought, oh, it's nice. And, uh, you know, not a bad looking bottle. I like it. Might make a good infinity bottle. What do you think? You know, one thing I did notice on this thing is it has a honking cork on this sucker. It is huge. I don't know what in my collection it would ever fit when I'm done with this thing, but... You know, it's like, wow, it's a huge cork. I mean, compared to the rare breed, compared to the 101, I mean, I grab a rare breed here and you pull the cork on that. Ooh. And in size, God, what is it? That's the size of a nickel. That thing's almost the size of a half dollar. You know, it's like, holy smokes. Anyway. Yeah, it's definitely. Um, old granddad, I got that over there too. As a matter of fact, I haven't had that in a few weeks. I might have to have a sip of that here real soon, but I like old granddad. You can't beat it. Mr. Whiskey Shits, cheers. What's up, man? Glad you could make it. So anyway, back to the story. She got it for me. It sat on the, on the bar a little bit, and then uh, a few weeks went by, and I just popped it and decided, well, I'm going to do a, a quick review on it. And I did. And it's not terrible by any means. Not terrible. I didn't think it was stellar, but I also thought there was an off-putting taste to it. Um, just wasn't, I don't know. I didn't know what, what to expect out of it. And the nosing on it wasn't anything spectacular at the time. So I'm using a different glass today compared to the normal Glen that I generally use. I get a, so you can get a better look at this in comparison, one versus the other. I mean, this thing is, it's huge. Anyway. 
So I put it in there and I let it set. And it's probably set about 35, 40 minutes, maybe more. And uh, I'm finally getting some of the nosing, some of the smell, the, the, the caramel, the vanilla, which I didn't get that initially a few weeks back. And I tried it in between and it just wasn't there. Um, and I agree with bourbon baller. If you're a beginner into bourbon, I think this is an excellent place to start for the money. Excellent place to start for the money. It is mild, for lack of a better term, all the way around. Um, you know, it's just, I, I really can't describe it. I don't know if it's the um, charcoal that they, they pour it over, you know, to give it that mesquite. Because, and that's another thing too, is a lot of people think that there's mesquite in the barrel when it's aging because it's eight year old uh, bourbon. No, it's charcoal. So it's charcoal filtered. So the mesquite comes and now the flavor comes that oak or the oak the mesquite comes from the flavor of the charcoal. It's not in the barrel. I even was originally under the impression of that until I started to read about it, you know? And um, so as I read about it, I was like, oh, it isn't in the barrel. It's not like a stave or anything like that. It's not in the barrel. It's because how it is made and it's the charcoal filter. But anyway, so I poured it in this glass today and, I, and I'm picking up the, the, the nosing off of it, the caramel. And like I said, there's, a, there's something to it. And I, I can't quite put my finger on what it is. And uh, I'm going to let someone else here pop on in just a few minutes. I see them in my room there and uh, I'm sure he'll be able to put his two cents in because uh, he probably has a bottle or two of this sitting on his shelf. Cheech, cheers. So, but yeah, um, so I poured it. I let it open up for a good while today. That is, was what I've been sipping on even before this just trying to, um, you know, get a real good feel for this. It just wasn't something that was growing on me. And I couldn't remember the mash bill, so I, I looked it up. So the mash bill on it is 75% uh, corn, 13% rye, and 12% malted barley. And I knew the majority of it was corn, and I could get a little of that rye spice, but I wasn't sure, so I had to look it up to see what's what. Now, and it is eight year juice, it's 86 proof. It's not terrible, but 90 is where I think it at least should have been and maybe even north, but that's a personal preference for me. You know, that's that's just what I like. That, that's my sweet spot. My wife, when she's looking for stuff for me, she grabs that and says, hey, this is 100 proof. What about this? Oh, this is cash strength. This is this, this is that. And she shows me the stuff. I was like, okay, great. So anyway, um, like I said, it much different now than what it was when I tried it a few weeks ago. Hold on, let me let me let this guy in here for a second. Let's see what he's doing. Hey, Marty, I, I thought that's what you had there. Couldn't quite tell when you're sitting in the back room there. Yeah, I thought that uh, when you said you were going to do it, I thought I'd try it with you because I do like it. I do think it's one of the top two uh, celebrity whiskeys that I have. Exactly. Uh, Matthew McConaughey, I forgot about that. Yeah. He was there. Was it creative director? Was that what they, the term? That yeah. The, I think it's exactly what it was. The title they gave him. I think that's what it was that I read somewhere, but I could be wrong. But um, so like I said, I, when I tried this originally, was absolutely not impressed. And, you know, it was like, yeah, I don't think I'll be getting a backup of it. So just in different conversations and texts and emails that I've had, since, hey, when are you going to review this Long Branch game? When are you going to go talk about and see what it's like? And then I thought about it, and then I looked at it today because we were up at camp, and I said, well, let me see. The last time I even did anything on it or even looked it up was well over three weeks ago. So I thought, well, it's been almost a month, so let me give it a whirl. So like I said, I, I, even, got a, I even tried it in a different glass, you know, uh, that seemed to make a difference as far as the nosing goes. 
I'm not yeah. saying um, that did it or not, but I think it had enough time. It's big enough. Uh, it really opened up, but also the ethanol. It's going, I don't get that ethanol burn, but when I took the sip about a oh, good 40 minutes ago, I was kind of surprised because I got more sweetness. I got the vanilla out of it. Um, still a little off-putting taste. And I, I don't want to use medicinal, I, I, but I can't think of another term to use on this other than the um, to say medicinal. Uh, it, but it has, I, I really got the rye spice on it. And I like that rye spice in a bourbon or a whiskey. Uh, I like that. The finish definitely is not it. Uh, I would have to say it's short to medium, maybe if you're lucky. The, the, the spice lingers longer, but then there is a bitter note it, to it, me. I get a little bit on the nose when, when I take it away. Like, you know, when I, I get that mesquite that's supposed to be there. And that's what it probably is. But, but I don't get it on the palate at all. There's no mes to me. There's no mesquite there at all. Sherry G, thanks for popping in. How are you? Yeah, and Mike Stahl really thinks Matthew McConaughey's really sexy. So I'm sure well, Stahl I'm sure has he's a kind of poster. Work. We just don't see it, but you know, yeah. I'm sure he stares at it quite yeah, often. He, yeah, it's on top of his ceiling in his bedroom. Ah, I think I think that's where it's at. I'll take your word for it. But, uh, <laughs> but no, I on the palate, man, I get on the back end a lot of, like, pepper. I, I don't know if it's a white pepper. Mm. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Sherry G was on vacation. It's about the end. She was up Lake Powell, wasn't it, Sherry? You know, you could have sent me a smoke signal. I'd have sent you one back. <laughs> hey, Sherry. Um, oh, I see Sherry in the chat now. Cool. He was People Magazine's sexiest person. You talking yeah. about Martin? Yeah, I was uh, in 1998. I was uh, on the, yeah. <laughs> That's what I figured he was talking about. Yeah. Because, you know, I know they love your picture. I know it. I just keep taking them. That's the problem. I'm too <laughs> stupid to stop. But the rain tonight is my signal. Ah. Yeah, we got a little rain where I was too, up in uh, northern Nevada, and um, but it didn't amount to much. So I'm talking to my parents today; they're still up there, and um, they're still up there. And they said it's thunder and it's lightning, it's raining to you know cats and dogs. Let's see who else we got here. Oh, look at this, man! Oh, day here we go. Marty's number one fan is here. Lord, Lord, Lord. <clears throat> but, hey, Adam. Hey, what's up, buddy? After this uh, long branch, Marty, I don't know if you have it, but I haven't cracked it, but I have a couple of different wild turkeys. You got one of these? Do I ever? Yes. I, I, I keep that. Okay, well, I'm going to open this up and... and and Let me show you I this know. real quick. Here's here's the other uh, celebrity whiskey that I have. I may have more that I just can't remember, but I like this one better than the Long Branch. The branch. You know what? I saw that, and I for oh, when my wife was in Florida, she saw that, and I was going to have her pick it up just for the novelty. Yeah, is that turkey is that turkey juice, Marty? No, I don't think that is. I don't. I think it's. Oh, okay. No, it's straight out of sourced out of Kentucky. Uh, it could be Dickle Juice. I haven't no, heard things. No, about no, no, no. Wait a, a minute. I did I see something on that Terry Bradshaw. I did see something on that. Um, God, this is batch number one. I need to save this damn thing. Yeah, but I'm just. Well, I don't think there's going to be a batch number two, but I don't know, but. <laughs> Actually, um, there is. He's. I saw an interview. He, him, and Minnick did a thing I, last week. They did. And, they did. And he said that this is the first. Of course, you know they did two year. It's two year or more. 
So he said that the next batch should be four year is what he said, but I don't know if they can wait that long, but the, the 51.9% alcohol by volume was his passing uh, completion. That's why he went with that. There's, there's numbers here that get correlate with his rec with his stats. Yes. On the bottle, which is kind of cool. That's, that's kind of neat. But uh, yeah, he said when he'd started this, they reached out to, I guess, the bottling company, whoever was going to do it, and it was like a year or two turnaround before they ever heard back from them. So, but I do like this better than the Long Branch. And I know you want to go to the uh, Kentucky Spirit, but no, no, let's just chat a little bit more on Long Branch and then no. that. But yeah, the Long Branch it? I think is good. I think it's a bottle. It's it's a barkeep, and I think it's a good mixer. Uh, we've gone. This is, I think, my second bottle because I think Jenny likes to mix it with other things too. And Kevin, when he comes over, he likes it, but yeah, I don't, I don't throw it under the bus. I do think it's okay. I really do. Well, like I said, I'm getting that. And now that you say it, it's probably is the mesquite. I just haven't had anything else to compare it that has the mesquite in it to say, Oh yeah, that's what it is. So I'm going to go with it, but it's a bitter note. Yeah. It's a, a bitterness that's, that's there's not a lot of body it. there and there's not a lot well, of there body is no jaw. there it's very light yeah very light um bourbon baller said it's great for a beginner and i absolutely I agree. totally yeah, absolutely. agree because you can build your palate from the 80 proofs on up like the basil hayden's you know and basil hayden is nowhere near in the field that this is but still the 80 proof the 85 86 up to 90 and work your way into the higher proofs when you're new. But for somebody that's new into bourbon and, and doesn't want to spend 60, 80, 100 plus dollars on a bottle, this is an okay $40 bottle of bourbon. It is. And it's, you know, me and Adam talk about stuff like this every now and then, but it's a pretty bottle. It's it a is. good bottle to have um, on the shelf. It's pretty. I it like is. It. I don't know what I'd use it for other than like I made the comment about the infinity bottle but that that's about the size of it you know um because there's nothing else in my collection right now that cork will fit down yeah, because you never know when one's going to break like it did on my uh, uh pipe dream redwood empire yeah jenny makes magnets and key chains out of these things oh, yeah she'll put, a, she'll, she'll put a put a thing in there and make a keychain out of it John T. Tears, thanks for joining. But uh, I don't think, like I said, I don't think it's horrible, but I, I will have to say the it will be on my bar for a while, not because I'm going to keep buying it, only because it's not going to be a normal go-to, you know, just to sit down and sip bourbon. Yeah, bourbon's got a great... Uh, Great take on it. Because well, the price point. So you're gonna get one on one at exactly at a lower price point and it's half. Much yeah, probably half. Yeah, 26, like that, 22. Right? Yeah, you're right. Oh my gosh. You can you can pick this up, rare breed, for about five dollars more, forty five bucks. Which all oh. of us would do oh. before that. Yeah. Well Easy. or So the only appeal of the long branch, maybe for a newer person to uh, bourbon, yeah, and also to the marketing side of it with the the bottle well, exactly. look and then McConaughey. So exactly, I mean exactly. So, am I totally disappointed with it? No, it just doesn't meet my palate, my what I like. And like I said, there's a little off-putting note, but I think it's the bitterness from the mesquite. Man. Don't know because I've not had anything that has mesquite in it to say yes. The bottom it. line, the bottom line with celebrity whiskey, in my opinion, and my opinion is mine, and it doesn't mean anything to anybody else. Is this they got to get something out and it's going to make money, and they put your name up their name on it. You're not going to find something 15 year from Tom Cruise or something like that. You know, it just it's not really there. So, you know, you're going to get a two, maybe four year whiskey. And, and that's just the way you got to take it for what it is, you know? Yeah. It's yeah, just I'm not. I'm kind of surprised, though, with uh, 
you think with Long Branch, they could have made like a cool release and like a a good whiskey, right? Like something like a higher price point than a 101 that's actually a better whiskey. Yeah. Um, supposedly McConaughey's like a a bourbon drinker, but it's like that's what you went with. I mean, like I said, I've, I've never tried it, but I've heard everybody's reviews and I, I can imagine what it's like. I'll try it one day at a bar, I'm sure, or somebody's house. Yeah. No, it's, it's, I'm, I'm with y'all. The 101 all day's flavor is just. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just great. I just, so I've got two of these, Anthony. I've got a store pick that I treasure. This is the second one I got, and this is over a year and a half old. And I, of course, keep the regular non store pick that I go to a lot. Yeah. Is that, that guy? Yeah. That is guy. It? He's yeah. on every stream. Yes, he is. He's like a staple. You know, it's right. like going to McDonald's and you got to get fries. If you right. have a passion, you do it. That's right. That's the way if you have works. a dream, you know, you got to know Marty's coming. Marty is coming. So, yeah, I, I think I, I got to say that definitely Long Branch, if you're a beginner, absolutely get it. it. It's a great starting point. Learn from that one and then move up, move on um, again. You might like it. It might be something that, you know, makes your foot tap great. Oh, God. But for me, it's just going to be something I have on the bar for somebody that says, you know, I don't want anything too strong to this, to that. Um, here you go. Here's some long branch. I got Basil Hayden's in there. Uh, no, no, no Blanton's Marty. Sorry. But, you know, you got to have something for, for people that don't want 90, 100 proof, 115. 137, you know, yeah, you, you, no, you got to just have plus. That's all. I, that's all I drink. It's yeah. It's just plain good. So Cruise I got to open this. I got to get something. I, I'm sorry to say good on my palate, but I got to No, something. it's okay. You're right. I got to get that. I got to get that bitterness. I don't know. Uh, out. <laughs> no, it's good. I'm good in the glass. Put some of this in the glass. This, this thing's. For the oh, money, dude, that's a killer uh, bottle, dude. It's it's right in my how fast I grabbed that. It's right in my reach. Yeah, dude. I really like that stuff. It, it's good. Uh, since Marty's got his spirit open, I'm gonna. Oh, listen to that, America! We can hit that 99 after this. Are those 100 proof or higher? They're 113, I think. Yeah. What is this? One hundred one. One hundred one. One hundred one. So it's it's based, I think it's supposed to be one hundred one as a single barrel. So basically, yeah. wild turkey exactly. and single barrel. Yeah, mine is um, bottled. It was, it was put in this bottle in May of twenty one from barrel twenty six fourteen stored in warehouse E. Uh, is that what it says? Yeah. Rick number 23. Selected yeah, I've been, I've been meaning to on a score. I, I haven't snagged one yet, but I mean well, it's apparently it wasn't meant for us because it said bourbon connoisseurs, and we're more of a common sore, right? <laughs> Drinkers. That's right. You know it, Mike. A little taste of this here. Ah. Oh, that smells like a bourbon. <laughs> that definitely smells like a bourbon. Yeah, Cheech, if you want to hop on tonight, that'd be cool. I'm waiting after for the, Cheech. After the BJ's. Yeah, once he's done, yeah. Because I know they were going strong, and I was kind of lurking over there on that for a while. But I just seen their thumbnails today. It seemed like they changed their plan for the channel like three different times, or for the stream tonight. I saw like oh. a bunch of different thumbnails. I'm like, what? the hell i thought they were doing like a scotch thing and then they're doing oh. some other thing and then they ended up doing like driftless and new york whiskeys oh my gosh this is so much better <laughs> uh, creaminess delicious like butter like caramely sweetness and goodness and just, just curb stomps the long branch oh of course of course yeah. and you know what you can't tell me eddie russell didn't know that 
yeah, this is not going to be a hitter for everybody that long branch. I'm sorry. Well, backstory I heard, and I can't prove it, but I guess Matt wanted to be even lower than what it was. And God. Eddie and him were like, no, we it's got to be up here, blah, 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 blah. And so I think there was a little back and forth on that. It's just for a little backstory. What's that? For the price point or what? No, the proof. Oh, the proof. Okay. Yeah, he wanted it lower, Matthew, and then um, – Eddie Russell's like, you can't do that. It's got to come up north. You know, I think he was probably pushing for at least 90 or their signature, you know. Um, yeah. Stay below the 101. Or yeah, exactly. But, oh, my gosh, this is so, so much better. I can just imagine when this bottle opens up a bit more, uh, that Kentucky spirit, what it'll taste like. But um, do you have any rare breed, Anthony? Wild bear shit in the woods. I tell you what, you just, you just showed the bottle like four minutes which, ago. Which one do you want? Rare breed. Rare breed. I got rye. I got the the reg, not the rye. The the, I, the I, I got it, dude. I got it. Put your butt. Put your fifty fifty between those two right there together. Well, let me uh let me You're enjoy this to get that taste of the long branch out. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna do it with you. Mm. Man, that's good. I'm sorry, but it just is. I mean, there's just no comparison. And I have I have what one, two, three, four other, five other wild turkey expressions beside Long Branch. And You just you can't. Yeah, that's, that's good news, Bourbon. Glad to hear it, buddy. Good, good deal, Ben. That's awesome, buddy. Oh, yeah. mm. All right. Well, to Man, it. much better. So a little, little rare breed, as you're saying, and a little spirit. Yep. All right. God can only go up from that long branch, in my opinion. But. Yeah. Oh, okay. Adam, what's new? Anything? Last few days? No, not a whole lot, man. Just uh, nothing new on the whiskey front, for sure. Yeah, me either. Hmm. Did you get my text? We're, uh, we are working on some shirt ideas um, that we're hoping to release soon. So, yeah, I don't blend much, Anthony, because I'm not good at it. But I did this one night with you, did, you uh, didn't attend Bourbon Battalion Blending 101. Well, I told him about this, and he said, "Yeah, try it." Of course, I'd already tried it, but. Bourbon, you've already got to, I thought, at that trade. Let this mix up here a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, this is great. Make it dizzy, make it dizzy, make it dizzy. Channeling my inner ADHD whiskey. Mm. <laughs> Get it all dizzy. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Rare breed and Kentucky spirit, a little 50 50. Yeah. Hey guys, I'll, I'll be right back. Don't threaten us. What the heck, for Ben? He didn't text me either, bro. Wait, Why is everybody texting each other? I don't, I, don't, I don't hear from anybody but Mike. I'm getting kind of sick of that, honestly. No, I'm just joking, Mike. You need to text Lava Man. Oh, what did you say? You, uh, Oh, yeah, you're getting together with uh, John T. tomorrow, right? That'll be cool. John T. is going to be in uh, Denver, and some of those Denver boys are going to meet up with him. I did text you, Adam. Yeah, like a few days ago. No, today. 
No, shut up. I swear to God I did. Look again, buddy. That's right. Oh, Tony did text me today. <laughs> All right, I did get a couple texts today. Mm-hmm. Can't go wrong with that. Tony's sending me some awesome samples. Awesome. Super stoked. But some old yeah. ECBPs. Some what? Some old ECBPs, a 2018 or 17, I think. Wow. Good. Yeah, that's definitely a that's a good, good little blend, isn't it? Yeah, that nice is little blend. The Kentucky Spirit and uh rare breed. Yeah. Hmm. You're you're doing a single barrel and a barrel proof, so it's kind of a nice combination. Whew, that's good. That, that it one, really is. It's a. There's a lot of sweetness going on there. A, it's a fruit. It's a fruit kick. And now I'm getting the spice from the from the rye. And um, <laughs> you see what Mike said, Marty? Yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Burban, we should, but I think he's just gonna send it because uh, he said I would get it quicker than doing it that way. Ah. <laughs> uh. Tiny talk. Yeah, I didn't get a text from Marty today. You did? Did you get it? No, I didn't get it. Damn, hell just. Dude, you're you're an iPhone guy. Like, yeah. Those things come through. If it says it was delivered, then I would have it on my phone. It's not on my phone. I'll send it in a group. Burben says uh, he's packing the tacos as we speak. I'll send it in a four person group. I didn't get it. Okay, I'll do it again. Oh, yeah. Packing it up, Bourbon. That's right. He's packing up them tiny tacos. Dude, those were legit. Those were so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is... That's a definitely a, a hit or mix there. I mean, it's just... Oh, it's John just, T., I got your number, dude. dude. I'll, I'll send you a text right now, bro. No, not tacos, hand delivery. Dude, don't. You got to do something. Cheers, Tim. Thanks for popping in, man. Hey, How Tim. are you? Guys, hit that thumbs up while you're here real quick. Mm-hmm. I got it, Marty. Yeah, don't be afraid. Hit that thumbs up. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so before. But. Man, this is good. Hey, yeah, I don't up. think I would have thought to, to put those two together, Marty. The, I, well, I just had them here one night, and I texted Bobby. I said, what do you think? He goes, absolutely. Yeah. I, it's, it seems to, to kick it up a notch. When I it does. It you, take, you, take the, you take the uh, 116 with the 101, and you've added the proof, but then, you know, you've got the barrel proof on the 116, and that just brings you all the heat and the flavor. I love it. I think it's a great blend. Oh, it's 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 really good. It is really yeah. that's the only blend I've ever done that I'd ever recommend. That's why I wanted you to try it if you had it. Oh yeah, that's good. I'm gonna do this 99 with that on too though, because I like it a whole lot. The Ezra. Oh yeah. The 99? Yeah. I'm, I'll have a little bit of that. Let me just finish this little drop. Hmm. I'll let that work for a minute while we work on this one. Mike's giving away your pappy, Anthony. What's that? Mike's giving away your pappy. Yeah, when it arrives, you're absolutely right. He knows. Because what I understand is it'll arrive as soon as he gets it and sends it to me, Adam. Hey, Marty, how many of those come in the case? 24. Damn. 
something, son? Yeah. How many come in a case? Uh, the Tennessee Tasters. I think uh, she told me. She did. Bill, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're doing the, the Booker's 99 right now, right? Yeah. Lux Row. I put mine in kind of a funky glass that I used for something else. So I'm hoping it doesn't mess it up. I got a clean Glen here. I do too. I'm just lazy and grabbed the first one that was right next to me. So, well, I've got four Glens and I've got three of those other other ones. Oh, Mike, Mike wants one, Marty. Yeah, I, I sent. Yeah, he was part of. I, I don't know. If, I never heard back from those texts. So I wonder if they any of them went through. I just barely got that one. I never got one earlier. <sighs> Maybe it's like bad service for you or somebody that wouldn't let it come through. I mean, I, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't get a text from Marty today. I can assure you. you should, well, you should have. You were part of it. It just didn't go. Something happened. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll send them again. So what you're saying is it was operator error? Absolutely. Okay. I well, actually had a. I actually had a. Uh, what do you call that going? And I, I bet that's what killed it. I had the uh, clubhouse chat going. When I was sending it, so it may have bumped it out. Hey, hey, buddy, how y'all doing? Hey, Marty, Good. I got that text today, buddy. You just did, to let did you know really I get it? Your text, yeah, I got She's your got text. It. I just ignored it, but I got it. Okay, well that's fine. I just, want to <laughs> I just sure called Ben. And I was it. like, can you believe Marty's fucking texting me about this uh, Tennessee taster shit? <laughs> hey, aren't you uh, wombats drinking, buddy? No. <laughs> Not me. But tell no, me all right. right. <laughs> <laughs> it's I. I am. So there's Wombat Drinking Buddy, and I am buddies with Wombat Drinking Buddy. I'm. Yeah, his, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. He's my yeah, drinking there's a buddy. Difference. I'm his. But I'm not Wombat Drinking Buddy. Yeah, that's an Australian fella. Your Wombat Drinking Buddy's Drinking Buddy. Exactly. Could have said it better myself. Yeah. Hey, I, how I, am I, I sounding? Help. I've got the uh, cans on tonight. I'm kicking it old school. Sounds good. Yeah, I see that. I it's see a little that. low, but that's typical with, with Cheech. For me, because I'm not a very loud talker unless I'm busting yeah, your chops, yeah. and then I'll, well, I'll talk shit. let me just say this. The last time Cheech was on was a little bit ago on the stream. I had one heck of a time hearing it. Now, whatever he has done, much better. Oh, I mean, yeah. it is a little low, but I absolutely can hear him. Yeah. So the, my cleaner. idea is that I'm not too loud, and that way when I want to emphasize something, I can get a little louder, and it'll come right through. You know, like yeah. Marty has on no pants. Well, that's probably <laughs> a little true. too much information no, for it's us. True. But I don't have okay. pants on. Pfft, that's okay. They're overrated. But that setup he's on now versus where he was a couple of weeks ago when he was still in a state of flux, let's oh, say. Oh, yeah, yeah. Before I had oh, place. This is, <laughs> this is much, much better. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I've put a lot of yeah. effort into it. I actually pulled out one of my uh, $1,000 recording microphones from my recording studio. I was like, why am I not using this? I've got it. So I, I have exactly. my game on the mic. So Exactly. I'm about to change my lighting in here. Not that I don't have good lighting. I'm just going to change to different lighting. And my Switch ultimate goal is a new camera. That's like the thing I'm clamoring for because I'm using something that really shouldn't even work for what I'm doing. But do, you, I've trick, I've tricked do you have an overhead light or just a front facing? I've got three lights. And uh, <laughs> I'm glad you asked, Adam, because I have individual control on each of them. I can't like dim them from where I'm sitting, but I can turn them on or off. So if I want to look a little bit more mysterious, I can uh, drop the headlight a little bit. Not much difference because the other lights are closed, but it does. Uh, oh yeah! Go. Now I look. I'm in the witness protection hey. program. <laughs> hey neophyte, can you go into his audio settings and try and manually up it a bit and see if that helps? Like I said, I I hear it like it got quieter the past minute or so. I can make it louder. Well, you know there what? You, uh, I'm glad you said something. Maybe there's an auto gain setting on my side. Let me check that real quick. I'm, I'm starting to figure out this stuff a little bit. Yeah, because in the control panel on StreamYard, you're able to go in and actually manually adjust audios so you can give people more audio. Or like Eric Thompson, we can like jack that sucker way down because mm -hmm. his mic's like 
in his mouth, basically. He's the loudest human being on uh, YouTube. <laughs> we yeah, can my just louder hear him breathing. He's just, yeah. You're fine, Marty. Yeah, I just yeah. did it. I saw the Adam, what is this uh, control panel you speak of I know nothing about? Go down to Cam Mike at the bottom. Okay, yeah. Got that. And then click on that and go to audio. And then oh. at the bottom, you have a drag bar. Yeah, I've got mine all the way so up. So click 100%. automatically. Okay. Or not automatically. Unclick it. Yourself. Yeah, I have it off. And then I okay. have my mic volume at maximum. So, That's it. I mean, I could probably uh, give myself a little bit more gain on the front end. Let's see if that helps. I don't want it to be so loud that people are like, damn, Cheech is the loudest person ever. That's perfect right there. That's better. Okay. It adds a little hum, though. Are you guys getting the hum and a little distortion? No. I want to back it off just a hair. No. Nope. Okay. We don't get it. The hum might just be on my end in my monitoring situation. Oh, you get a little feedback, yeah. Not feedback, like actual, like 60, I don't want to get into technical stuff. 60 cycle hums. It's yeah. uh, something to do with your AC interfering. I got a lot of yeah. you know, power running around me. Oh, so you, you got to turn the air conditioner off. I got it. Okay. No, no. Yeah. That isn't going to happen. I'm kidding. You said AC. Current. I was just kidding. Yeah, I'm still alternating current. See, I'm I'm distorting yeah. now. Yeah. I, don't to, I don't want to distort. Uh, anyway, what are you guys drinking? Well, right now. That's what this is, right? This is a drinking stream where we hang yeah. out. Oh, no fucking way, Adam. Look at this shit. Right Dude, there. We're all, all are we really? Well, then yeah. I better drink something else. How am I drinking? I was just by coincidence. This is what I was drinking during Bourbon Junkies, like since 9 o'clock. So I started with a review of Long Branch, Cheech, because I did it a few weeks back. I answered your poll. Yes. And um, and so I came home and looked and said, wow, it's been three or four weeks since I even brought it up. So I decided to do it. And then Marty popped on and he was drinking it. And so we were going back and forth. And I said, and um, Bourbon Baller said it's it it's perfect bourbon for a beginner, absolute perfect uh, long bourbon branch. For yeah, 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 absolutely. I like long um, branch. I should. I think I for us, either. and I really don't mean to speak for you, but for us, it's okay. But it's not going to be our go-to. It's not going to be a daily sipper. It's one of those things you have on a bar when somebody comes over that is either new to bourbon or doesn't <laughs> like that rye spice or the higher proof of a 95 100 plus so you give them a little long branch let them slip on it what i just didn't like about it was there's a little off-putting taste and it leaves a bitter note and i do believe it's the mesquite yes because it's mesquite filtered charcoal through that. yeah, yeah. They filter and so and mesquite. i've not had anything to compare it with that has the same stuff filtered through that mesquite charcoal to say oh that's it yeah yeah. Well, how much other stuff is out there that's filtered through mesquite? I don't think anything. There's beef jerky. About, maybe a beef balconis. Jerky. Have you checked the balconis? Oh, maybe there's a balconis. They may. Maybe. Hey, I mean, I've never had any of it. So. Send a text to HBR. Have him pop on. He'll tell us. Because uh, I know he's a he's a connoisseur when it comes to that. Okay. Let me see. Maybe I can send him a message and find out. But oh, that'll kill the stream. Let's just talk and drink whiskey. Yeah. But I will say this. Is that <laughs> kill the stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, uh, just sitting here texting. I'm like, I don't want to watch that. I don't want to watch somebody sit here and text. But um, the uh, the Ezra Brooks, the 99, it's good. It is good. It's it's one of the best. Little... Man, Lux Rose yeah. just got some cool stuff. That's what it comes down to. They just have yeah. Exactly. Stuff. You know, you you find these things that are fifty bucks and less, and they turn out to be hitters. It's it's they're delicious. All right, I'm not going to text Chris this late. I mean, it's an hour earlier where he is, but it's still around that eleven o'clock on a Tuesday. He does work for a living. I heard that he does work. Yeah, he works. He's got a job. Yeah. I mean, not like, like a new job in Nashville. If anybody can swing that, anybody knows anybody in Nashville looking for to hire HBR. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's in sales of some sort. I, that's it. That's a little bit all I know. Tim Evans. Uh, hey, buddy. Um, what's the retail going on that thing? And I also probably should stop buying so much bourbon. 
Just saying. I bought three bottles today. Probably you did? A, yeah, there's a... I got the Larceny uh, B521 today. And then oh. um, behind me on this side, you could see I got a couple of the Doc Swinson Alter Egos. I got the rye and the bourbon. So I got th three of those three bottles today. So, anyway. Tib Evans, I will let you know, buddy. I will let you know. Maybe by the end of the this stream. I don't know how late I'm going to be on, actually. I've got all, we've got a very 78 crazy, out the door? Yeah, that's for the uh, old elk sour mash. Yeah. I could add it to my, uh, my old elk pile over there. Bourbon ball, there's no such thing as a bourbon problem. The only yeah. time I have a problem is when I can't any. find anything good to buy. I'm at that point. I'm trying. I'm kind of running out of things I'm looking for. You know, yeah. it gets to a certain point when you hit like a certain number of bottles or so. It seems to be right around that 300 mark. Yeah. <laughs> you just start getting like uh, multiples or like variations on a you know store picks that kind of thing. Hey, Except cheers, Lilith. Hey, Lilith. Oh, my favorite Australian has arrived. That's right. Lilith, All right, we have to, we have to clean it up, Cheech. Clean it up now. I'm always the same. <laughs> Literally always the same. This is just in person, the same thing. It's just, this is just That's it. That's it. Yeah. But some people say they like to see the microphone like up high. Like, like, they, so you know, this high. <laughs> is that because they don't want to have to look at you? I don't know. I thought I was pretty charming. Wait, hey, Jen thinks so, right? Oh, my most favorite human being on this planet that's right she's unreal best thing ever we all have one of those they put up with us yeah i don't we've got i mean i we know lots of people that have been in very long-term relationships and even they are like they're like you guys have something that's way different i'm like that's right, that's I'm, right. A I'm a glutton for punishment <laughs> <laughs> Me and Jen have been saying that forever. That's like my the joke with me is that I'm hey, like, a punishment. Hey, Ken. Boy, yeah, got some uh, Aussies in. Oh, yeah, they're, they're waking like, up. Yeah. Well, they're waking up. That's it's right. almost the Arvo for some of them. It's people. lunchtime. Almost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're just eating kangaroos and uh, getting drunk yeah. with wombats. Black mambas. <laughs> There's no black mambas in Australia. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, Ken, it was simple. In your um, studio in YouTube. He doesn't, he doesn't have a stream yard, though. But, but I did it in YouTube. Oh, in YouTube. Okay. In YouTube, yeah. you could do the. So when you go to your YouTube, YouTube studio, look on the right hand side, you'll see the chat. Okay. Then look on the bottom of that chat, Ken. It'll say poll. Click on it. Ooh. So. I yeah, that's how I did it. It was one of those things I stumbled on by accident a little bit ago. And you said that's so, in YouTube Studio? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you do it and like you're using StreamYard, then you have to go in and say, okay, when you stop it in StreamYard, you want to stop it in YouTube too. So you have to make sure you click that so it moves over. Look at where it has the chat on the right side and look towards the bottom. Hey, I got another subscriber tonight. Woo! Yeah, you did, you Cheech. Good. Yeah, what are you at, Cheech? Two eighty. Oh, we were nipping at your heels. We're like twenty twenty. I know you guys are gonna. Oh, well, you know what? I've got you know last Saturday, not this past Saturday, but last Saturday it was your two fifty, right? With my two fifty, I've gotten thirty since then, and it's been what four days? Crazy. So crazy. how are you doing? Let's see. Anthony's doing pretty good. Anthony's at seventy one. Oh, I got 71? Oh, I picked yeah. up one then. Yeah. Perfect. I guess that little banner works. Dang on right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll have to dig into this, uh, more of this YouTube studio thing. I've been getting into my analytics. Marty, did you, yeah. thank, did you thank me for Mike doing that? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no doubt. So hey. since... Since we have a chat of the regulars and the regulars on the stream here, who would be interested in doing an off-air uh, meetup about 
running our channels and how we can maximize those kind of things and understanding your analytics and, and that kind yep. of thing. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay. I'm going to probably try to schedule that for next week sometime. And of course, sure. I'll send everybody an invite except for Marty. Mm -hmm. Marty, well, you know you're going to be there, man. You know I love you, bro. Or else I know, buddy. Your, bust your I know. I love constantly. it. Hey, constantly. And don't forget, Plus we, have a, target. we have an IT expert down under. He's always oh, yeah. willing to help. Oh, yeah. Ken. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, uh, look. And he even posted it. I didn't even see it till just now. <laughs> yes, I watched the boom video. I might have been the first person to watch that, Ken. As soon as you oh, wasn't that out, hilarious. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. It's so so I'm driving I'm driving home today from camp. And I don't know why, but that popped into my head and I'm starting to chuckle as I'm driving. Because I can just see Ken jumping. Oh, I showed it to my daughter. Holy shit. Because <laughs> she's very she knows who Ken is. I mean, she, she just, you know, we watch a lot of Scotch Down Under in the mornings during the school year and watch a lot of Lego builds. So uh, my daughter is like, I was watching it. She goes, what's that? And I'm like, oh, it's uh, Ken. And then I explained to her how whenever somebody, you don't, you know, gives them a, a contribution that the quokka comes up and it's a big boom on oh. his side. We can't hear it, but he can. And it scares the, I said, scares the crap out of him. Mm -hmm. Ken, I was thinking you internet genius, you IT type wizard. Maybe is there a way to randomize that so maybe it's not a boom every time and you don't know when the boom's going to happen. And sometimes you might just get a little jangle, and then other times you get like a you know an a bomb, just like you never <laughs> no, you... know. Because the reactions for the random ones will be way better than you know. I'm not saying you'll get used to the the other one, but if there was randomized in some way, like be a like a jack sound. in the box. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yeah. That, that's correct, Ken. I was speaking about your video, but yes, you can now hear the boom yourself. Yes. Uh, he fed it back into the feed, the, and I was able to hear it. It's good. The one thing that did happen is when that happens, you know, you get that that like medallion that pops up in the center. Yeah. Now, the, what happens though is for us is it blocks Ken. Right. So you don't always see his expression, but you know what's going on because you could tell by the way he jumps back. <laughs> but if that wasn't in the way, oh my gosh, it would, I mean, people would be peeing there. Some of them were so good. Like that video he posted on Patreon today was so good. If you're not a Patreon oh, yeah. of Scotch Down Under, why the fuck not? I need, I need to go check it out. Yeah, I mean, you don't. Oh, really, you have to. In like Australian money, you could give them like, uh, I don't know. I forget what Ken's lowest tier is, but it's worth I'm a, it. I'm a it's, patron. I just don't get on Patreon much to look at people's posts and stuff. Yeah, so only so I dug into it a little bit. You can set notifications for a specific I don't know how many people you're patron to, but specific ones. So like I make sure I get Ken's when they pop up. I think that's a good one to get. That one today. I I think I watched it like four times today. I'll probably watch it again tomorrow. It's pretty good. But he said he can randomize it, but the boom is so much fun, he doesn't want to randomize it. But, you know, Ken, if it ever gets to be a little too complacent, you know, like, oh, it's no, maybe randomize it or change it up. Maybe different booms, you know, based on, I don't know if you could do that, based on the size of the donation. Maybe bigger the donation, the bigger the boom. <clears throat> That'd be cool. Yeah, or some artillery fire or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Something. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. But Mike Stahl is still <laughs> hitting on you, Adam, like constantly. I know, dude. Uh, I think just, he found a cure to. Uh, he's a rainbow flag. He doesn't need Viagra anymore. He just watches me and you on stream. Oh, uh, so. yeah. Well, you know, that's a cure for some things. For you sure. You know, Livewire sure. says we need to do a poll to find out if he's a good wrench. And I says, I have to compare him to Cheech right now. Uh, and <laughs> right now, it's just, I'm sorry, Mike. It's just, you know. Oh, it's it's close to even though, right? But it's like, he's he's doing a decent job right now. Yeah. He's doing, he's doing good in this particular stream. Yeah, yeah. Except for he's no. only promoting his own channel. Just <laughs> he did, I wasn't going to say anything. I know. I'm just kidding. I'm just. Messing with that and he did have whiskey encore on there. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty and sure I'm everybody on. here is already a subscriber. But I I've seen I've seen Cheech mod while he's on a stream. You think Marty do it dude, all the time. Dude, just can, just hell. can we have a drink with him on Livewire Whiskey? <laughs> I, uh, 
actually, uh, I forget which who it was, but a couple days ago, I was modding multiple channels at one time, and Jen came in there. She's like, "What's all this?" I'm like, "Well, that's the chat for this channel. That's the you know." I had them like one on each side. You know, I got multiple monitors and stuff like that. But uh, it was pretty funny. It was pretty nice. Funny. But you, you know, when I, I pop out the chat window, I can't, tell, I can't tell whose chat it is. Unless I start looking at who's in the chat, so I got to kind of pay attention to what chat I'm in, and I'm, you know, I have oh. made mistakes where I posted one thing in one chat that was meant for another. Yeah. Well, you know, here this is a good break in for Mike because yeah, you know, it's not it's like, like I have uh, 500 people. It's like VPK. In chat. What's that? It's like VPK. It's like pre-kindergarten. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, for modding. I mean, you're Perfect. modding to yeah. your friends. I mean, you're modding to people we see all the time, you know? Oh, yeah. uh, Adam, uh, apparently Mike Stahl is not hitting on you. He's your pimp. He's uh, pimping you out. Hopefully well, the lovely Australian uh, Aussie lady right now. Yeah, there you go. That's all I'm talking about. Mike, I see. Yeah. Here's the neat thing, Adam. Uh, I hear uh, American men with shaved heads like Australian women. And apparently Australian women like American men with shaved heads. Just saying. There you oh go. Oh my buddy. gosh. There you go. Less hats. It's my lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> Game on. <laughs> Challenge accepted. All right, Ryan. guys, I'm heading to bed. Good night, Ryan. Ryan. Hey Marty, I'll answer that text tomorrow sometime. <laughs> That's it. Or don't. <laughs> I'm just not in a hurry ever. It's hey, okay. Marty. Yeah, I got you, Adam. Cheers, buddy. All right, All right, guys. Anthony, see you, buddy. Yep. Take it easy. Yeah, I think I want to do a blind with the Ezra 99 against some other stuff, like the maybe Turkey 101. and. Well, I'll let you know that the Turkey 101 will stomp it. You think? Yeah. I don't know. I've, I've done them side by side. They're both good, but all of a sudden, the, the Ezra won't kind of lift its weight a little bit. But they're both good. I'm not saying Yeah, I... I I know what you mean. I, I think you're probably right. It's just on the finish. The 101 kind of lingers a little bit longer and hits. Maybe knob uh, knob nine here. Yeah, knob nine would be good. I think they're very a, similar, right? They're very similar. Yeah. Hey, cheers, Tony. Thanks for popping in, man. Have a good sleep. I'd throw a rebel, uh, rebel yell 100, or rebel 100. I guess. Oh, I'll call good night, that. Tony Tito's. Yeah, good night, Tony. I've seen Tony in uh, several chats today. Yeah, did you hear me, Adam? The Rebel 100, Rebel Yale 100, that against Yeah, the, I've, the I've never never had a bottle of that. Okay. You had a sample? No, uh, I never tried it. Jen it's mentioned a, to me today about updating the list, so the updated list will be happening soon. Probably not. It's a Saturday. weeder, though, right? Yeah, yeah. I kind of want to try that 10-year. I think uh, Liquor Lineup's getting some, Anthony. The Rebel tenure? Yes. Um, they're getting a store pick. That's one I told you about. And that's due to come out. No, that's that would be distiller or what? Distiller. They're distiller. getting a store. They're getting a store pick of Rebel. They're getting a store pick of uh, Old Fall Oysters. And on, the, on their site, they also have a. It's called Rebel Ten. Uh, what? Oh yeah, it? yeah, yeah. I saw single that. barrel. Single barrel, right? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it just hasn't popped up yet as in stock, but yeah, I have it in the store already. Yeah, I think Amy Bohm just said she got a got that. So it must are you getting those uh, old elk picks? I didn't get them, but I got the picture. Hold on, I'm looking for it from my guy there that lets me know when certain things hit the shelf yeah. before they put them on. And uh, hold on, I'm just trying to see. I think he did send me one just like. Three days ago. Yeah, hold on. Here it is. Yeah, they got McKenna in, but I already have that. There's the old elk. They're 79 on the old elk. Is that a weeded or is that the regular yeah. bourbon? Okay, yeah. weeded it's bourbon. A weeded bourbon, right? Yep. Yep. So not yeah, a weed whiskey, but a weeded bourbon. Yeah, I've no. got a couple of the weeded whisk, uh, bourbons that are both store picks. Yeah, the one I have is a wheat whiskey. I have a wheat it's whiskey as well. really good. Yeah. I like the old elk stuff. It's good. Yeah. It, yeah, those store picks, those store picks store are, are really good, yeah. You know, they're they're good in general. Um, but I haven't opened my old elk yet. 
dude, the guy we had on the other night, Mike Root from Copper Sky, like their stuff is really good. Like I, I mean, it's MGP, so you get it to be pretty good. But <clears throat> the one was a seven-year single barrel. That thing is a freaking hitter. That's all. Yep, Tommy D got me the 16-year light whiskey. What? What I'm do you mean? You? Tomorrow. you didn't get two of them? No, he only got me one. Like, he fronted it. What the hell, man? Mm. Yeah, like, I, I texted him that night, and he went the next morning. What a guy. What a guy. I'm going to have to do a little bit of going tomorrow. We're going to Copper Sky. We're meeting up at Copper Sky. Oh, that's badass. It's cigar night there. It is. Oh, yeah. So Lava Man hasn't texted me back, but I let him know we were gone. It's live stream from the uh, from Copper Sky. Oh, he did text me back. Oh. <laughs> what are you saying? You got to pay attention? I know. It's hard because I'm so into your whiskey tube channel and that's right that's right i understand he's fulfilling his modding duties that's right john I t we you. don't have patreon yet buddy not yet it's under construction just uh, like pup. a lot of other things i gotta take pup outside that's right that's right gotta do it, no, gotta I think, do it. so we we talked about when we hit 250 that we would consider doing it i think we probably will we're just having uh haven't really mapped it out how we want to do it yet and i think the best thing for us would probably be to do merch as like giveaways and because we we like doing the merch but selling it's i don't know we, we tend to give away so much anyway it's like just do that as our as our main thing for like a patron Hey, Stanley Wagner. What's up, Stanley? Stanley Man, it's nice out. Anymore. Holy cow. It's still like 100 degrees here and humid, so no, I'm not going out. It's probably 68 degrees out here right now with a little, maybe 70 with a breeze. <sighs> really? Now, when I was up at uh, camp last night, uh, we got a little bit of a rain, and uh, uh, it was really nice uh, at night with the window open and that cool air coming through. That yeah. clean rain smell. Oh, I love that rain smell. Mm -hmm. It yeah. has rained here for 29 days straight. Really? Deluge is okay. Unbelievable. It's like a swamp around me. I had to mow the lawn tonight, and it was like I was – we got like six hours of sun today, and I was like, this is going to be my only chance because we have like 90% chance of rain tomorrow again. I'm just like, i got to mow it now or it's not going to get mowed for who knows how long. But it's your daughter's, not, we were your daughter's not old enough to mow the lawn for you yet, Cheech? Um, well, I had her re-roofing the house today, so I didn't think oh, uh, adding, adding lawn work to it was very fair. Once, once she's like six, you can get her out there mowing the lawn. Uh, she's eight and a half. No, I'm um, just kidding. She just rebuilt my transmission in my truck. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> she wants to be a mechanical engineer. She's that's her goal. She's been saying that since she was like four or five years old. She wants to be a mechanical engineer. That's her. My mother-in-law today was like, she's like, she's like, I've been putting money away for your college fund. She goes, I'm not going to college. She's like, what? She's like, I'm going to trade school. She goes, I don't need all that expense. <laughs> she says, like, she that's right. Money. Yeah. So I told her, like, you're right. You don't need that kind of, you know, hanging over you. My, uh, right. my save, save, save daddy some money. Ah, she can have it all. Can't take it with you. Yeah. Well, we're trying to buy some property right now. So I'm trying to get a, a nice legacy piece of property to have in the family for, you know, for later. For the generations that follow there you go that's my goal so is yeah. it going to be around florida or is it somewhere else yeah it's still near where we are we're, we're okay close. yeah let's be honest it's pretty easy living down here we know the hurricanes are coming we get a few days notice you know it's not like a 
other places. Plus, there's no state income tax, and uh, I really like the fact that I don't have to pay a state income tax. Yeah, I don't have that here in Nevada. Yeah, there's only seven no, states no that state. don't, buddy. You know, the other option was Tennessee, but me and my wife were thinking we actually last May we went and looked at property in Tennessee, and we're like, do we do it? Do we do it here? And then we started talking about, you know, we we're going to get old. There's going <laughs> to be ice. There's going to be snow. There's going to be uh, winding mountain roads. Florida's nice and flat, and it almost never freezes over. So <laughs> we're kind of. Like I said, we had thought about moving to Tennessee or having property in Tennessee to retreat to at least, but we might do a smaller piece of property somewhere else, but our long-term homestead is going to be here. It just makes the most sense for us well. to be here. Yeah, we're, here. we're already here. We have other family here. We just moved, you know, a year ago we moved my mother-in-law and her mother from California to here, so. And as you age, that's where you want to be. Yeah, so. it cost yeah. of living's less, you know, it's it's nice and hot and humid. Do you know how to <laughs> yeah. build the uh, cinder block houses down there, Cheech? Yeah, yeah. I know how to build a lot of things. Um, our last house before this one was a cinder block house, and uh, I did an addition on that one. And it was, Mike, are you just in the, sitting in the dark? Is that what it is? I mean, He's outside. Oh, I'm outside okay. on the patio. So, yes. I got my. The pooch. Took the pup yeah. out. <laughs> That's right. He's on pooch watch. But I, I, I did an addition on our last house, which was all concrete block construction. I built my recording studio on that house. and uh, So I have a little experience, Mike. So what, why were you asking about the... Because uh, my wife board? watches HGTV and some couple builds like a house in like... A day. Yeah, for four weeks they build a house. That's called of- creative editing. That does not occur. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying if it's on TV, it's not true? I'm not saying it's not true. I'm just saying it gets truncated for the interest of a half an hour or 60 minute TV show. And they can't show you really everything like those renovations in a weekend show. Those take three or four weeks. I've worked on a couple of them. They don't, they don't happen in a weekend at all. They happen over the course of a month, sometimes way more than that, but they'll make it look like it. How how many remodeling projects have you done cheat? So I will agree with you. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I just I just exactly. put out one today that's pretty insane, but um, you know, there's money involved, and I always reward myself at the end of the job. That's how I ended up with three bottles and it, today. And it just doesn't go as planned, particularly when you're doing a remodel in something yeah. that's a few years old. That yeah. oh yeah, it's going to take us three days. Next thing you know, you tear everything out, you open up the walls, and go oh well, this all has to be redone. This pipe's crap. I got a saw, cut the floor, <laughs> and boom, 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 boom. Yeah, and next thing you know, you're going halfway through the house. Yeah, Anthony, let me tell you, the one today was a friend of mine, him and his fiance. she has a, uh, a twin boys from a previous marriage. They're not boys, they're men. They're 18 years old now. Well, one of her sons came home and decided he wanted to back his truck into the driveway and then into the garage, except for his, his truck doesn't fit in the garage. It does, does now. now. Huh? It does now, yeah. Um, so she was like, she's like, oh, he... he backed into the sheetrock and it pushed through to the other side so you can see it in the house i need you to come take a look at it he didn't just back in to the sheetrock he backed into a load bearing wall and knocked the house off the foundation by about six inches for about a nine foot run but how fast was he going to do that I have no idea. I didn't exactly. talk to the young man, but I can tell yeah. you that the house, which was built just three years ago, <laughs> is completely not good. And I had to pass on the job because uh, she needs a structural engineer out there. That's not something I can do. I mean, yeah. I can do the work, but I can't tell. Yeah, you need an engineer. Yeah, they're not, yeah, I know what you're saying. I said, unfortunately, um, and fortunately, this is going to be a homeowner insurance kind of claim. That's not going to be just a, you could fix it for a couple thousand dollars. Yeah. She's like, well, in your experience, what kind of dollar amount do you think it's going to be for Hmm. this to get repaired? And I was like somewhere between 30 and $40,000. Yeah. (laughs) Especially when you, you have to get that pencil engineer involved. You don't have a choice. I mean, I can do all the math. I can figure it all out, but I'm not allowed to. So correct. uh, so somebody Correct. else is going to have to do that part of it. Maybe I'll still yep. do the work, but uh, yeah, uh, I don't want to. I can say Daniel no. H. 
you're absolutely right. If it wasn't for Cheech on this stream, it would be crap. Oh, Funny stop. guy, Daniel H. I like Party you hard hard much, but that's not how it tr truly is. I came on, you know, Jen asked me, she's like, are you going to go live tonight after the junkies? I'm like, I don't know. I think bourbon uh, neophytes going. She goes, oh, I just got a, uh, a notification that he was going live in 30 minutes because I wasn't paying attention because I was modding. Oh, yeah. No, no. I've seen I like, you. I've seen you hammering away on the junkies. Yeah. I, I saw I like, you. I'm like, I'm like, I'm just going to go on that. So Jen went to bed and I told the junkies I was calling it a night. I mean, I was calling it a night for them. I gave them, you know, three plus hours, about three hours of my time, which is a lot. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's a lot going on in their chat. It moves pretty quickly. So, oh, you know, there's like 500 in there whenever five I was on. Five was the highest I saw, 545 tonight. Yeah, amazing. And it's very hard to keep up, you know, here with 14, 15, 16. It's easy for Mike to keep up and, you know, yeah. get his feet wet and learn yeah. the process yeah that's the thing it's 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 just scalable it's scalable what you have to realize when there's more people is that chat screen is refreshing every few seconds it doesn't yeah you know that same comment that you just dropped is gone already oh and, and exactly. who knows you saw it so as much i feel like i'm over wrenching sometime and i'm dropping too many links i have to realize that there's 550 people in there and maybe 10 or 15 of them are paying attention to the chat at any one time i don't so, know every time you post something like that teach i'm like wait what did teach just say yeah well that's and i go and i think. find it yeah well yeah. you know it's pertinent <laughs> usually it's fairly pertinent hey i want to address john t's comment he said he, he said he did four house flips and it's hit and miss on profits john that's true <laughs> in the last three years i've done 12 flips so uh, you're right. Some of them you kind of just eke out a profit, <laughs> just barely, and uh, other ones are home runs. You know I, that's how I look at it. I'm not even a sports guy, but there's base hits, there's doubles, there's triples, there's home runs, and luckily, uh, you, I haven't had any real strikeouts. But I've I've worked done some work with other investors where uh, you know they actually ended up eating a little bit at the end of it. I'm like, I told you this should have been a rental. I told you you shouldn't have tried to flip this house. You should have just bought it and made it a rental for a few years. But, you know, younger investors, newer investors, they don't kind of understand the difference between flip and then a buy and hold and have somebody else build your net worth for you. I guess I should run a seminar on this. That'll be a, a week from next Tuesday. I don't know. Bringing it back to whiskey. Yeah, uh, let's Daniel. do that. Daniel H. just got the new Larceny Barrel Proof. Sent me a picture. Did you get it? Nice. Today. Hell yeah, dude. It hasn't dropped here yet. It should be the next week or two. I'm looking forward to it. I love those. Did you get two of them? Or just hey, one? Shari G. They had one. He got one in. I was, he's like, yeah, dude, I wasn't even know. looking for it and it and this is a place that usually puts everything out on the shelf but he was behind the counter he's like hey Cheech he's like uh he's like do you want this larceny barrel proof I'm like what larceny barrel proof and he went behind this counter and he pulled it out of the box he's like I only had one so he's like I had nowhere to put it on a shelf he's like how do you put one bottle out and like, I was like oh, yeah. I'm like I'll take it that's so right that was my response I'll take it I'll you take don't it. have to put it out yeah I'll give it a home so I'm not Up opening Sherry it G. yet. Hey, Sherry. Good to see you. She's got some samples coming her way, along with John T. Sherry G should have gotten a Forgate sample, I think, or will be getting one. Yeah. Did you see that email from Bubble Bath? He got it, and he's already drinking it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why wait? Did he like it? He's like, this Forgate's really good. I'm like... Dude, did you not even watch the stream? Like, we're all supposed to drink that shit. I together. should have put a note in it or something, but whatever. You didn't put a note in there, Mike? Do not. Oh, open. God, no. I was trying to get him out. I felt bad for waiting so long. I'm like, I got to get him out. Yeah, yesterday was shipping day for me. Uh, only one package this week. I did put a thank you sticker on the box. Oh, That's nice. I mean, it's, you know, it's all about the little things, Cheech. It really is. That's what I tell my wife. Yeah. Jalapeno and cheese sausage and Old Ezra 7. 
Hell yeah, bourbon baller. Uh, I like your style. You got to try the A121 because if Adam sent me one, now I get to send him a sample the next one. Who I makes Ezra? Is that uh, Lux Row? Lux Row, Lux Row yeah. Lux Row. I'm, sure I'm a fan of Lux Row shit. You're not? I don't know. I had that Revel store pick that was awful. Well, is that the one you hit or miss? killed weeds with? Yeah, it's the one I was like a drinking at weed field. Like Colorado weed? I really like the label on that. Yeah, it's so sexy. Yeah. This one's unopened. I killed my other bottle of it. I haven't opened this one yet. But, uh... Yeah, Daniel H., I heard it. I heard it is way better, and that proof point is awesome, man. 121. Yeah, I saw some of those were in Colorado. Here you are, Cheech. Oh, yeah. So you know. Oh, I had one this, was a, this was a hand delivery. I got mine back there, too. I haven't even touched it yet, Adam. What? What are you waiting for? I haven't. For? <clears throat> I haven't. You could you could die tomorrow. What if you get COVID tomorrow and you can't taste anything for the rest of your I life? I can't. I'm vaccinated. Oh, people with vaccines get it all the time. Just so it, you know, Anthony. It happens all the time. Yep. Yeah. I have, a, I have a, my friend Ricky. I uh, drink good bourbon, so yeah. there's just no way. Yeah, you, you don't count on that. My friend Ricky, who uh, he was a drummer for the band Poison. Do you guys know who Ricky is? Ricky Rocket. Ricky yeah, is who, fully vaccinated, and as of today, he's got COVID. So, who's Poison? Know. Are they a new band? Poison, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Apparently, uh, people like spandex and big hair again. Oh, that's yeah, it's back. I forget the band here in Vegas, but um, they're an '80s band, and they play on Free Monster and stuff like that. They're 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 in full swing. Yep. See, you know what I think is funny is I was watching Star Trek Next Generation and it occurred to me, why do they all have to wear tights as a uniform? Seems weird. Where's Ken? Ken goes off the bench. It's kind of hot, though. Yeah, totally. Uh, speaking of, Jen and I will be dressing as Star Trek uh, original series for Halloween this year. We got invited to a, a party <laughs> and Jen wants to be a yeoman. So she's going to get the, the little dress. So I'm did not, you see? I'm not upset. Ken, this. Did you see Ken's question, Cheech? Oh yeah, we were already communicating about the locale of his uh, missing. Yes, I'm going to help him out with that. Well, my uh, wife was just there a couple weeks ago. Uh, Ken, I was literally. There's several Brodies in uh, town. There's I don't know six or eight of them. I I was at three of them today. <laughs> noise. Yeah, noise. Nice. Yes. It's funny. He actually spelled nice correctly. I always put an O in it. I know. Normally he does an O. I know. He must you gotta have that way in there. That way. He must be excited. Noise. He got in a hurry. Yeah, well it happens. Or he's doing voice to chat. Oh, okay. Cobblestone. Is that a rye? Cobblestone rye, green label, something like that, Ken? Might have seen that, I don't know. Brody's is one of the, the stores that I used to have a hookup at. And like a month ago, the guy that was my hookup after being there for 10 years decided he wanted to quit. And he just quit one day. I went in there one day and he was there. The next day I went in, well, two days later, I'm like, hey, where's Sean? They're like, he quit. <laughs> I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, he quit. I'm like, okay, he didn't tell me. They're like, it was sudden. I'm like, okay. Well, I guess I lost that contact. <laughs> happens. Happens, I guess. You're like, damn it, who's ass do I have to kiss now? Yeah. Hey, Ken, are you saying that the cobblestone's a Brody's pick? Because I don't know of them having a Brody's pick, so maybe it's just a regular Brody's, but uh, hit me up, buddy. You know, whiskeyencore, gmail.com. Oh, speaking way. of which, have you ever heard of Whiskey Encore? <laughs> Check out the link down in chat. I saw that. That's so nice of you. Good night, Gurley. So uh, this Saturday is the memorial service for my brother-in-law, and uh, I've been debating whether or not I'm going to be able to go live on Saturday. I'm also gigging both Friday and Saturday night. I told Jen today that I'm like, there's a good chance I'm probably still going to go on, but it's going to be late. It's going to be 3 a.m. on Sunday my time. 
which is Ooh. just getting back to my regular time, I guess. But it's been like over a month since I've had my regular schedule. You know, oh. I went on it one last week. It was, uh, you know, it was late. <laughs> But I didn't have a gig, so I'll be pumped up from the gig and everything. By the time I get home Saturday night, I'll be still wide awake. Unfortunately, it's one of the further gigs we play, but we're playing there Friday and Saturday night. So it's a set up once, play twice, tear down once situation. Those are still, the nice ones. Yeah, it's not so bad. We're doing a lot more of those. We're actually scheduling next year at this point. So when I say next year, I mean like all of 2022. And uh, one of the venues that we've only played at occasionally this year, we've been kind of like a fill-in, and they booked us for some weekends. We got one coming up, but they're booking us one weekend every month next year, and it's the closest gig to my house. So I'm super stoked about that. I don't have to, you know, go too far. Nice. Yeah, I'm sure if you don't go, we'll have somebody ready to jump in, or. HBR It'll be 3 a.m. Nobody's going to be on at 3 a.m. It's either me or it's a ghost town. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, 3 a.m. I mean, I'm saying if there's like a carryover, right? If somebody starts yeah. at like one year time and then carries over. For I'm not going, Cheech. Yeah, I know you're not going to do it. It's not going to be you, Mike. I am. Shh. Shh. Okay. You know, That's fine. Back Just in don't the tell day. Mike Stahl. Well, back tell in the day, me. television used to go off the air. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, me too. Play the uh, national, national anthem. anthem. <laughs> Nobody yep. plays the national. That was anthem the last anymore. thing, Bunch and that was around one a.m., two o'clock, something like that. Just depend on where you were. But we have Cheech now. I, I need a, another bottle to drink. What shall I drink? Yeah, three a.m. is perfect. Light whiskey. Light whiskey, not on this Tuesday. Is, this is what I grabbed. Massive oh, Family yeah. Reserve is only one hundred and seven proof. That's true. I like that stuff. I might do a one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could do that. Mike, uh, I like the way you're thinking. Now I got to figure out which batch. But, we could uh, do that old Ezra Seven too. No, I don't want to open that one yet. I'm about to. I'm going to have a stream in a couple, maybe in a couple weeks, where I'm going to do nothing but open bottles. But I've got 71 open bottles right now. I need to kill some. Oh uh, yeah. No, well, that was the plan with the the Ezra 99. I was like, I need to start hitting that thing pretty hard so I can get rid of it. But there was a lot more in there than I thought. I drank that during the whole Bourbon Junkie stream. So I had like three or four pours out of that. And it's yeah, and you were drinking it Saturday too quite a bit. I like it. Um, I like it because it, it's not my absolute lowest proof, but it's one of the few that I have that are under 100. You know, everything else is 100 or above. So, would you say you were drinking Anthony Pipe Dream? Yep. And you're drinking that right now? I yep. I don't have Pipe Dream anymore. I do have a, an American whiskey, though. I might try that out. Let's see. That was the one that the uh, cap broke away from the cork. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Copper I'll Sky. Bring, I'll drink some light whiskey on a Tuesday. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. You, Mike, this light whiskey was, like, so damn good, though. Yeah, like, I, I like think, it. I think it killed LT, honestly. Like, it kills that. And I think it beats my Obtanium that I have. I haven't I think tried. It's not quite as complex as some of the bourbon that's that age. So like LT is a little bit maybe more complex than that is because that's just corn whiskey, right? That's yeah. yeah. But it it's is. pretty good, man. It's I mean it it feels light and I don't know. I want to try that sixteen. Maybe I'll hit up Tommy and say. I'll ask him tomorrow if he can go get another one. Did he get himself one or no? I don't know. It, it looked like the picture he sent me, there were only a few left. So they may be gone now. Well, there's only a few of us. Right. All right. So we're, I got two different things. I've got the uh, Redwood Empire American Whiskey Batch 2, since uh, Anthony was drinking something from Redwood Empire. And then uh, Mike had suggested the NASA Family Reserve. This is Batch 10. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Well, you can always flip a coin. I want somebody in chat to just tell me which one to drink. Are they 60, Mike, or how much are they? 100. 100? Oof. Oof. L Lilith, you're not wrong. 3 a.m. is a perfect time here. for you, and it's a perfect time for me. I'll see you at 3 a.m. on Sunday morning, my time. I believe that's I can't tell. Sunday night. It looks like it's 139 proof, too, Adam. 
Damn. Okay. So while I got everyone's attention, we uh -huh. have a special, special guest. Special. Are you ready? Oh, we'll see. literally my favorite. What's up, What's up Sherry? Sherry? <laughs> and now wait a minute. It just gets better from here. It just right. gets better from here. Tia. Oh, it de definitely went down. Definitely went down. Yeah, you brought those on nah, in the wrong order. Yeah, go back. <laughs> Peace out, guys. <laughs> Bourbon Bar sure says I should have the NASIF. Sherry. Sherry, you've been on his stream twice now. You've only been on ours once. What the hell? <laughs> She's been she on knows where it's at. Again. Has it been twice? <laughs> Mike? Yeah, she's she's done are bottle you, chugs on ours twice. Hey, are you going to finish off a bottle of four roses tonight? Is that what you're doing, Sherry? Uh -oh. Yep. Uh oh. She's, yep. She's Challenge accepted. Out. He just called her out. Unbelievable. Oh, she, it's gone. It's already it's gone. <laughs> there you go. Fallen soldier. Bye, you said she's right. going to do it, and by golly, she does it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, that's what she said in the chat. The so hey, cheers, everybody. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 I'm doing that NASA of 10. A dolphin. I just want to uh, say hi. My oh. internet's not real good on this, so I'm going to jump off. All right. So good to see you. Right. Right. Thanks for popping on. Always good I'll to have you. Next weekend when I'm Enjoy that. Um, Elijah Craig 18. See you, Jer Sherry. I can't see <laughs> how she's frozen or just really hey, still. Funny, up, you know? it's funny you jumped What's up? Just got a bit of a surprise. <laughs> I thought I grabbed the 1792 12 year, but I grabbed a foolproof. Ouch. So the first Here sip was kind of a surprise. Yeah. I bet yeah. it was. Is it a bit hot? <laughs> it was a bit hotter than I expected. Right. <laughs> hey, yeah. Tito, it's funny you're, you jumped on. I'm. I have this in my Glen right now, the El Cerrito store pick. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's the. That's not the bottle that got sent to you. That was the other one, right? Uh, Is that the 125? Might be a different one. No, it's 120.92. Oh, that's the old pick that they yeah, did. Yeah, the old one. Yeah. So I had that poured before you even... Magically appeared before you weren't I even in chat. You, I could hear you pouring it, and I said, "I gotta get on." <laughs> Power of suggestion. I was asking about you the other day, Tito. I was like, mm. "Oh God, it's all lies, all lies, whatever they were saying, all lies." Wait a minute, what? Mm -hmm. Totally, yeah. So there have been hints dropped at some of our new t-shirts that are coming out one way or another. Oh, yeah. It's happening. I want to hear about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got you to gotta do some social media snooping. Okay. There's, right. a new, there's a new t-shirt that was uploaded on uh, Whiskey Encores. Snooping. Ooh, was there? Yep. Ooh. Just letting you know. Hey, I'm drop sorry. a link to that in chat. Nope. It's a secret. You got to find it. Oh, you there's a few to more Patreon. about to go up. I just threw one on there just to see if anybody was paying attention. Nobody's paying attention. <laughs> nobody ever goes to my t. Unless I say something about there being a t-shirt, nobody goes and checks it out. At all. Well, now you did, so now we will. Yeah, but it's not for you guys. Oh, it's, it's geared toward the ladies. Well, well, then maybe my wife needs a whiskey encore. Then I'm surprised I didn't see it. Oh wait, yeah, well. You'll never guess who this is. <laughs> oh man, I just talked I talked to DC about that a couple times. I was like, "Listen, man, I got this idea for Ben." Where are you, Lilith? Why aren't you on here? <laughs> anyway, so the the Burben thing and the the king of the hunt, that's that's me talking to DC. That's what happens. I give him ideas and so yeah, you know he just makes them happen. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, and I didn't put it on my Insta, Lilith, just so you know. 
But it was actually on Instagram and Facebook. You have a Livewire Whiskey Facebook page? No. Oh, uh, is it just on your personal one? No. No. Adam. Somebody else put it up there. Uh, it was that one. It was that picture. That's the hint. I'm guessing uh, one of Ludig's. <laughs> nope, it's not a Ludig design. No, no, it's not a Ludig's working on it with this. Uh, Lilith is watching the boom video from Ken. <laughs> yeah, I saw that on uh, Patreon today. So good. I love it. We'll watch it again. Oh, I think I'm not at a high enough tier Patreon to see the shirt. On what Patreon? Whiskey Encore. Yeah. Oh, mine? Uh, I didn't put it on Patreon. It's just on my Teespring store. It is. Yeah. I know you need to link your Teespring store. I know, I do, but I'm not. I'm not wrenching on this tonight. Why? Well, I, I don't know it. <laughs> you could probably uh, find it if you're really enterprising enough. I mean, I, I'll I'll look for it and see if I. No, can. I'm shut up. I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna put that <laughs> link in there. Just go to Teespring and look at hunt for stores. There's probably only one whiskey encore. That'd be my guess. It's I'll either. wait for Mike to find it. It's, there you go, Tito. Don't put any effort in whatsoever. No, I got my wrench. In the <laughs> yeah, we got a wrench in the house. That's right. Install a super wrench. Let's get That's that right. motherfucker a cape. On the Bourbon Meat <laughs> Fight channel, he is the super wrench. I mean, he is on it. There you go, Mike. I'll send you my list of all the things I need mm. you to promote. First of Ooh. all, earthquakes and whiff whiskey. Libation exploration. No flux given. I'm just saying that's a weird t shirt, Cheech. <laughs> yes, it is. It's specific for one person I made that for. Which one are you looking at? There's a. I, no, I I'm a, looking. I don't even know how to search. I'm on Teespring site. That's beautiful. So where it says stores. You can yes. click on that. <laughs> it doesn't say stores. Are you, are you on a galaxy? Oh, discover. Okay, hold on. Mm. <laughs> what a super wrench. This guy's good. Yeah, this this website is kind of hard to figure out. It sucks. Out. I hate it. I don't like it at all. That's why I don't really promote my Teespring. Shop now. Are you what kind of device are you on? Are you on a laptop? Yeah. Okay. Is it a PC? Yeah. Can't help you. No, it's a Mac. Oh, okay. Totally can help you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it doesn't shop collection, featured creators. No, that's not me. I'm not paying that price. Get started. I mean, they try to get you to sign up like crazy. Oh, yeah. Are you not a, already a registered user? You have to register to be a user before you can even search? No, I mean, you can probably find stuff, but it definitely makes more sense if you're involved. Start designing. Yeah. Discover creators and their products. Okay. Apparel, all categories. Yeah, there's not like a search, dude. I think that's why nobody's finding it. Hmm. Perfect. That's exactly my plan. Yeah. Oh, was it the women's tee? There's one shirt. It's probably the last one in the list. And <clears throat> it's in pink. Yep. For Mike Stall. There you go. Oh, that's definitely for Stall, right? <laughs> I the literally person. can't even find the, you. Uh, that's that's awesome, man. That's beautiful. You're you're killing it on the wrenching duties, buddy. <laughs> I find if you just give up, that's the best way to go about things. Just say I can't, and then I'll just be move on. I'll be right back. Carry on, Mike. I'm going to fill up my uh, one glass. Hold on. I can't even. I can't even. So, Mike, do you want me to drop the link? <laughs> Dude, like, I literally, you can't search for creators. Oh, wait. Oh, this site sucks. Yeah, I've had a horrible time finding myself. <laughs> I didn't even sign in and I found myself. <laughs> Did you click on me? Oh, you said you didn't sign in. Never mind. No. What is going on? Somebody mute me if I. 
Yeah, I think <laughs> I think Anthony's <laughs> opening his garage door or something. Sounded like an ice maker, maybe like a ooh, an ice maker. I think you nailed it. Because I heard the I thought he, I thought he got electrocuted or something. <laughs> maybe. I, I just want everybody to know that we're see, and he never opened the old Ezra Seven. So about eight hours away from Scotch Down Under getting started. Ooh, nice. We're so close. Only eight hours. <laughs> Less than eight hours. Come on, Lilith. You know you want the pink one. Would it be under brands? Would Whiskey Encore be considered a brand? I'm gonna just no. make things easy for you. Uh, if you, I already posted it. Oh, uh, you found uh, it. Look at no, you. No, I didn't. Tim Evans texted it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, Tim. That is awesome. I put it up there too. <laughs> Well, I'll give it to you, Mike. I think you got it up there before I did. So uh, he did, right there is literally it. not a way to search it without creating a login. No, that no, is a I terrible website. Yeah, it's it's a horrible website. What I like, like to I'm do. Even, I go to Discover Creators, and it's still. Yeah. Good luck. It's Dude, still... on, on Patreon, I just went to Cheech's old shirt post. Ah, so right you're there, a patron. Yeah. Hey, that's how I was gonna go through it, but I don't think I'm a high high enough tier to get a T-shirt. I thought yeah, I that, that up for that, all tiers. That you must have to pay tiers. in order to search Teespring for someone. No, I found it. I didn't even. Oh, know Tim Evans! Know. Look at what Tim Evans. But posted. I know what I'm looking for. Tim Evans, good whiskey encore Teespring. I did Google that. Whiskey, yeah, that's it. Google whiskey encore Teespring. That's how I found it. I did Google that. It. it did not t point me there. I, it was I some sort of porn that. site. You must have that. Um, <laughs> I was going to say you might have some blocks on your uh, on your searches. No, Tim Evans has the same computer I have. Yeah. Oh, is it company issued? Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. Everybody hide your quackas. What's up, Ben? Dude, this whole quacka thing is confusing the shit out of me. Just so yeah, everybody knows. Well, that's all right. Most, most <laughs> things that are a little bit, uh, you know. Dumb. Questionable on the sexual scale confuse you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I Does anybody know what her women's uh, size is? Fetish? Fetish ish? <laughs> yeah, just sitting here with my cousin uh, working on killing a. Uh, oh, we just had the first four actually after midnight here. But uh, working on pouring a little, uh, killing a little Elijah Craig uh, pit, store pick. Oh. Store pick. It's yeah. easy drinking right there. I need to get that store pick the bourbon ballers. Yeah, uh, I got, I got, I got a possible uh, hand delivery expert on that. Well, I got to see how far we can go with it. Hey, Cheech. Yes. Do they charge you like when you put something up? Like you put up that new shirt. You're if right. you were to put that in a men's cut, same color and everything. Yep. Would yeah, that I mean, I, would that cost you more to put that up? Nope, doesn't cost me anything. I this. would be a proofy bitch for sure. Okay, well, absolutely. If you, if you I'm ordering that out. right now. If what you color that... would you like it in? I can make that happen. Hey, well, oh, I want that same color. What, okay, what just in a men's size. What's happening? I have to see if it's available. We're we're talking about one of my new T-shirt designs. Yeah. Hey, oh, I don't think the color would work. But did you see I wore your? Did you see I wore your shirt the other day and people were on uh on HBR and people yeah. were like, Whoa, where did that color one shirt come from? Yeah, that's right. You got the variant. <laughs> there are some variants of my shirts that are only available hand delivered by me. You can't get them any <laughs> other way. They're yeah, a special Mike's edition. Saw, what's, what's confusing about quackas, dude? What the fuck is He's it? Sexually attracted to them. It's a you don't know what a quaka is? You've been watching Ken's stream for how long and you don't know what a quaka is? No idea what it is. I thought working. you guys were joking about something. No, it's it's the like the cutest a animal on the planet. Aussie animal, dude. That they like to um, have relations with. Aww. They smile They're so happy. all the time unless bourbon's around. Then they run? <laughs> no, they run to bad. Actually, they'll throw their babies at you and run. Yeah. <laughs> They're pacifists. That's why Lil <laughs> hates them. Wow, they're like really cute little animals, though. And... Uh, yeah. Lil doesn't like Sugar Kitty. Sugar Kitty uh, protects them. What? Lil doesn't like? Organization. Hold on. 
Lil, awesome shirt doesn't come any in any other color. Um, Lilith, I can have that made in any color you want. What What's the shirt change? Did I not see it? It's the it's, very, it's hashtag, probably the last listing on my uh, Teespring. If you're not looking, link I'm, we're not going to discuss it. We're not going to discuss it. I'll send you. I'll send you a text. There you go. Send right, in the link because I'm on the phone right now. So. Okay. I, the neat thing about uh, Tito, you were asking about Teespring. You can put up mm -hmm. as many designs as you want, and you don't have to actually make them public if you don't want to. So I've been making some ridiculous shirts just for me, and then you can order a sample at cost. So, good All right. Right. so I've ordered a few shirts. I have a couple with whiz... Starting at couple... 94 proof. My yeah. cousin is over here complaining that I started him at 94 hey, proof. Mute uh, Ben. <laughs> yeah. What? Sounds like a proofy bitch. <laughs> what, Mike? Couldn't uh -huh. hear you. It works both ways, though. Uh, As Adam, you were saying, you know, Peach, you can either be uh, on the high end of the proofy bitch scale, or you could be one of those people who can't handle the proofy. So either way, it works. Let the person reading it figure it out. That's right. You can get it for any special occasion. <laughs> So what I was saying, Tito, is like if you want to design a T-shirt, it doesn't cost you anything to do it. And uh, they'll only make the T-shirt if somebody orders the T-shirt. It's not one of those things where you're paying to have T-shirts made. Okay. So they're not having to make screens for it or anything like that? Well, a lot of, a lot of the companies that do fulfillment for Teespring have automated uh, printing where they can actually do one-offs. Oh, okay. being terribly expensive for them. Um, it's a digital type um, screen. Anyway without getting too technical so those that'll be on my real. uh my uh behind the scenes off air thing about what we can do to grow each other's channels and the tools that are available to us to do so <clears throat> if that makes sense you're totally invited to that tito i just don't know when it's going to be it's probably next week sometime oh uh, sweet can Ken, took your your advice cheech mm. Oh, oh that's there you go. One. All right, so okay, I've got some different explosion sounds and different levels. So the amount is determined by the boom amount. Oh yes. If you donate twenty bucks, he's gonna shit his pants. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, twenty but bucks. Walk up or the I'm saving execution. up now. <laughs> Goodness. How Are much you going to get you, tonight, Ken? Yeah. He is. 8.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight. He's doing a countdown. Eight Seven hours and 48 minutes. So to close. What? Might as well stay on. Can stream. Oh. Is that Cheech? I'm just not even going to bother going to fucking bed. <laughs> uh, I got a million things to do tomorrow. Why sleep? What time's your first meeting in the morning, Mike? Uh, I don't even know. Like he, like he actually does much work. I like got. I was getting in the shower this morning at like ten to eight, and all of a sudden the alert goes off that I have an eight o'clock meeting. I was like, "Shit!" Whoever schedules eight o'clock meetings, like, should just go to hell. Especially yeah. if they don't realize yeah, exactly. that Ben stays up till four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I am sorry, Corbin America. Nine a.m. is. It, it, it's get figure out what broke the night before. Yep. Put out any instant fires. Have a cup of coffee and catch up on your email. It was actually you know, a customer meeting with a European customer. So, fuck them. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Whiskey Wednesday. Yep. Yeah, dude. Every Wednesday he streams. Who's going live tomorrow night? U.S. night. Wednesday. That's uh, Mash and Drum oh. tomorrow night. Yeah, Mash. I know. Is anybody going on after Mash and Drum? I might. I thought, I thought Livewire does on Wednesday. Or Livewire. I'll be at Copper Sky. So. Oh, perfect. So Adam. How long are you guys going to awesome. be there? So from a oh, remote right. location. Awesome, Mike. You're going to be at Copper know. Sky at 11 o'clock at night. For reals, dude. No, it's nine and nine. We're meeting there at six, which is eight your time. Yeah, you'll probably be home by like eight thirty. Who's we? <laughs> what did I miss? 
Tommy D, John T, and John possibly D. Lava Man. Ah. What are you picking up for me? <laughs> uh, I got the – so Tommy D got that 16-year light whiskey yesterday. I haven't been to Denver yet to go check out that other place, though. Is it an Obtanium 16-year? No, it's Copper Sky. Sky. Copper Sky 16-year, okay. Does that Mike would make sense. Know, does Mike know you're coming? Uh, no, I haven't texted him yet. I need to text him. Yeah, you should. That's – what time yeah, is the know. what time is the Copper Sky gift shop open until? This one's legit. It's open the whole time. Dude, it hits way hotter than my one thirty six that I have. That's the Copper Sky. Yeah, I'll text it in the morning. It's almost eleven. Yeah. What's the what's the age on this one that you have, Mike? Thirteen year. Yeah. It's the light freaking, whiskey, yeah. Freaking good, dude. Dude, I gotta go get that other one that's one thirty five proof. He said he's not doing any more light whiskey on the shelf. No. Only picks. What did you if you come that? across any sixty dollar ones, just. It's a sixty dollar one. Right Where are they at, Mike? They're Colorado only right now. They're about 10 minutes from my house. Hmm. Get one for your boy. <laughs> you need one, Anthony? I think I got to commit with you right now. Not $60 worth, but $40 worth. Yeah, because you did the bookers instead. Yeah. Dude, are the junkies still going? Uh, I don't know. I can't tell if this is the same one or a, like it moved off. Probably. We're still 13-ish in here. Yeah. We're still going. Maybe Cheech can... Uh, Post the link for Anthony's channel over there. Did anybody else pick up anything in the last week or so, or last few days? I got the oh, shit. Yeah, didn't you didn't you see the stream on Sunday night? Saw little bits of it, but like I said, I wasn't home. I know. I'm just kidding. I was giving you a hard time because you apologized. Yeah. <laughs> it felt bad because, like, as I was like, I'm, I'm out of here. And you're like, you're not even going to jump on on my birthday? I was like, man. <laughs> no, it's I bought scotch you know. today. You know what? I bought scotch. It's okay. I'm putting you know, myself I've been on enjoying a enjoying a little scotch lately. I'm not going to lie. Like, hey. Sometimes it's don't, okay to go higher class. Hey, don't worry. We forgive you, Burben. <laughs> said blaming Ken. <laughs> I saw that coming, Anthony. <laughs> and the name like Bourbon, and you fucking find scotch. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're going to be like, what's your name, sir? And you're going to be like, Bourbon. This scotch not on Bourbon. Left. You're on the left. That's it. Yes. That and the one behind you. So, Tito, I got the It's Bourbon Night new loop oh. pick this week. Oh, okay. yeah. How is it? Glen Morangi? That's it's a good. good. That's a good scotch. Is that the twelve year? Yep. Well, it's not a regular one. Look, zoom is in. It? Go full screen, Marty. Hold on. Let me zoom in. Marty, on Anthony. Yeah, I know. I was gonna let him suffer for a minute. No, I was calling him Marty for that. <laughs> not zooming What's in. What's that? <laughs> hey, Marty's got it down now. He was. He was here. I know. I was getting seasick watching Marty the one time because he just kept like. Malaga cast. It's the kid with the new toy. <laughs> He's gonna... That's going to be good. So there's that the, one. The Glenn Fetich 15. And then this one, complete with dust on the top, is uh, the previous release non chill filtered Quinta Rubin that's now a 14 year. This is the 12 year prior release. Hmm. And so some non chill filtered. Are you going to open those, Ben? Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to open them tonight, but I'm going to open them. I meant someday. 
mm-hmm. on a day where I feel like drinking scotch. So, like, when I'm around Ken or Jim or something. Yeah, see, this doesn't look anything like the current Quinta Rubin. No. Wouldn't know. So, according to Ken and Jim, this is, they reused the casks again. And that's why they had to go to a 14 year to get a similar taste. That this was the first time they used the casks. I don't know. It was quote unquote a dusty, so I bought it. I'm an asshole. What? Yeah, but that finish is, is really good. <laughs> so I'm like hooked on high proof scotch. <laughs> I definitely like the high proof scotches better too. Like, you're, you're just a proof dude. dude. I am. I'm. I hate myself so much for saying that. Hey, we we have a side group called Proof Institutes Anonymous. You can uh, join right. that. You can join. There's hope for you, Mike. I used to be like such a judgy I asshole to you guys. To that. Used to what, be like a few weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, saying, like a week ago. You're like, bro, <laughs> the proof doesn't matter. Dude, it matters on some of those. I'm telling you right now. Maybe it's I'm just a cask strength. So I know you got the Glenn Buckus 105 or whatever, but what other cask strength ones do you got? Uh, well, I had the you sample. I had the sample of the Lafroig cask strength ten year. That was good. The Lagavulin in 16 is not. I don't think it's cask strength, but it's still higher proof. I have that 105 again, Glenn Farclos, I think is what it is, mm-hmm. the 105, which is 120. I just got that other one, the, what was the one I just got? I don't know. I only have like six scotches right now, and like four of them are high proof. Two of them aren't. A store I went to gave me a pour of uh, Glenn Livid 18. That was interesting. Dude, Glenn Levitt 18 was supposed to be really good. That won uh, Curiosity Publix 18-year battle. Yeah, you know what? It's really good, but it was 80 proof. It was, you know, the flavor was really good, but it was really watery. I don't understand how the scotch drinkers put that stuff on ice exactly. when it's 80 proof. But, but I've done it, and... I'm not an ice fan, but on that 80 proof, I don't know why. It's just more tolerable to me just to throw one ice cube in. Really? And uh, it seems to bring out a little more flavor as it starts to melt. Hmm. But that Glenfetic 15 that's in the same cast as, um, I think it's the more, uh, oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Tastes good. I can't think of the cast now. I think it's the same one that uh, Benz was in. Um, Port cask? No. The last scotch that you got. Oh. The 12 year. The it's now 14 year. Yeah. Oh, what is that? That's a. Uh... Marsala? Or not Marsala. No, um, that's like Sauternes or some. some no. Thing. No, but something else. We do need to uh, schedule our stuff. When you get older, you just can't think of it. I know what I want to say. But anyway, it'll come to me. But I just can't think of it right now. We, So we, I want to do a Scottish pub night. Scottish pub night. Maybe we'll do it like on, a, on a Wednesday or something like that. Okay, I'm all right with that. You have to drink scotch, Ben. Yeah, Ben's got some scotches. Yeah, he Tito's does. got some scotches. Finish, but... Yeah, one scotch. See, <laughs> I'll show scotch bottles, but I'll probably have bourbon in my glass. Ooh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Tito, Ooh. what 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 is your one scotch? The muckety muck. It's like a freaking two hundred something dollar bottle. Mm-hmm. It's not very. Oh good. yeah. I don't like it. That's the orphan it's barrel or something yeah. like that? Yeah, it's an orphan barrel. I don't even know why I bought it. it was just it's an old ass orphan barrel. It's a neat looking label. It is. Yeah. It's, cool it's a great looking label. It's so good. 
I look at it and pass on it constantly. We, we got to make sure Ken has a slow day that day so he can come on with us and have some pub time. Yeah. It'll be a Thursday for him. So every pour will be that bottle. Or that <laughs> bottle will be held up for every pour. Yeah, he, he's like drinking Old Forester. Just kidding. Like, now I'm going to this. Uh, dude, you're just drinking that. And your last pour was light, and now it's, like, dark. <laughs> yeah. You know, I really feel the same way on scotch. You would probably like these finished Glamorangis, too. Oh, I'm sure I would, but I don't need more stuff that I like. That's the problem. <laughs> well, I'm trying to explore more just because bourbon is getting so insane to have yeah. some other options and also to have some other options when you go out to eat or something like that. Yep. You know? That's a good Truthfully, thing. the bourbon selection is often crap. Yeah, it is crazy how the restaurant bourbon selections, unless it's a bar that takes pride in its bourbon. Yeah. You know, and even then, like, I feel like it's almost, they do it just for the marketing of it. Mm -hmm. They don't actually, like, have intelligence behind what they've got. No. So I was at a place this weekend in northern Nevada called Baker. I do believe that's what it was. And there's a uh, national park there called Lehman Caves. So we stopped and got something to eat at this place. And of course, as soon as I walk in, you see the bar and all the shelves. The first thing I see on the shelf is a Weller 107 antique. Then I see Willet. Then I see the Boo Rye. Then I see uh, Yippee Kaye. Then I see Willet, E.H. Taylor. Um, can't remember some of the backups now, but you only imagine the prices. Yeah, but this is a place that I walked into that I would have never expected that to be on the shelf. So I walked up and I, I looked. So I talked to the lady that was tending bar and I said, where does this come from? She goes, you know what? I have no idea how they got the Weller because she's from Kentucky. And I guess she tended bar there for a long time. She goes, yeah, that's like, she said, that's like finding hen's teeth. She goes, but they've got that. And then she says, I see the E.H. Taylor. I didn't even ask her the price because um, what they were charging for what they called a meal, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> At least they didn't charge you $430 for an old fashioned. Uh, no, three ninety nine dollars It was on sale. No, my dad I, I got a that uh, got charged that. My dad got a rye that. with something it was a drink, but it had blueberry and something else in it. With um I want to say sage. And I didn't get it because I'm driving. But anyway, he really liked it. What is that, Mike? I can't see. That was our donation oh, bottle. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. DMCKY posted on Instagram. Yep, I saw that. It was just a little, yeah. little cloudy there. Tito, did it come out a happy ending? No, he ordered um, an old fashioned with Mictors, and they made him an old fashioned with Mictors twenty. And when he got the bill, it was four hundred and thirty dollars on there for the old fashioned. Wow. That so, must have been the most incredible old fashioned of all time. Oh, he said it was, but at the he ended up not having to pay for it. Like he complained and was like, "Look, this is ridiculous. Who's going to order a Mictors twenty in an old fashioned?" And I don't know what they ended up charging them or how they worked it out, but I think they just charge them for a regular old fashioned. So, so I went for my son's 28th birthday. We went to a place that's called like whiskey and steak or something like that in Fort Collins. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're sitting out on the patio and I have to drive. So I'm going to just order an Elijah Craig barrel proof. And uh, <laughs> just kidding. I, I did order that, but it was like, <laughs> I didn't even drink the whole thing, and I, I was drinking really slow, which is not like on stream. But I order it, and then she brings it out, and I'm like, do you know which batch this is? And she goes, oh, yeah, it's the barrel proof. <laughs> You're like, you should have been like, can I see the bottle? That's what I did. So I walked in, and when I went to the bathroom, I walked by, and I go, can I see which Eliza Creek barrel proof it is just so that I know? I'm just curious. Because it tastes like everything tastes different in a different place, right? Like mm -hmm. what you know to be true in your home bar, like Anthony knows this when he goes up to the camp, right? Like what you know to be 
you know, Elijah Craig barrel proof A121, when you get to camp or you go to a restaurant or whatever, it's just a little different. I have my smoke wagon sitting up there. I have a few others and man, the other night I finished off the small batch and then I was on to the straight, um, straight bourbon when I was on your stream for a bit. And uh, man, that thing was just hitting all the marks and it's no different than the bottles I've got here. I've got three or four of them and three or four of them are the red, white, and blue with the regular one. And uh, it just didn't compare for some strange reason. Don't know why, but man, was it just hitting the mark the other day. I was so annoyed today. I went no. to one place. No. No, listen to this. Smoke we wagon three, thirty two ninety nine. What okay. was it? Smoke wagon straight, oh. thirty two ninety nine. Yep, that's that's about right. Smoke wagon straight, red, white, and blue, forty nine ninety nine. No, they're they're, the same uh, shit. No, they're they're taking advantage of you. Yep. I paid the yep. same oh, price. I can't no, get that reason. I can't get it again. Yeah. Did you you want one? I can get one at a normal price, twenty nine ninety nine. Let me let me check a couple other places first here. But okay. It just was like, really? Yeah. No, there. At the same time, the guy special. gave me four pours of samples. So you know, it's like, I there's just know that's the way it's going. About that juice in the red, white, and blue bottle as the regular bottle. Nothing. So Nothing. Adam just texted me something interesting. You want to share with the good? class, Adam? Call me to. Well, I, I'm interested, like, for some elaboration as to why you think my wife is so attractive. <laughs> Just I mean, kidding. That's I'm, not what I'm he told me. Okay. You know, to no, so, no, seriously. Yeah, I think no, I, 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 you he didn't him, I, don't, I don't, I don't watch a lot of uh, reviews anymore. So, like, course i'm sub to a bunch of channels people's reviews pop up that used to be something that i was interested in but lately like i don't watch a lot of people's reviews on whiskey and i don't know if it's like more like you know i'm kind of building up my own palette opinions on stuff and i don't want other people's interfering or if it's more like i'm just not into the whole review stuff anymore like i'd rather like i i enjoy what we do with live streams and stuff and just the reviews don't appeal to me as much anymore. <laughs> don't let Jess hear you talking that way about my wife, apparently. No, the, so I, I do kind of agree, but I'll say I watch less of like the junkies to get their opinions. You know what I mean? Like, because I, I almost don't care. And I feel like some of it, like, God bless Jason and his review of so many things. But sometimes I feel like some of the channels kind of program their reviews. You know, no. they get a rare bottle, so they want to love it. And, you know, that's what I appreciated about the likes. Like, when they came out, they were one of the first ones to go, this Russell's 13 sucks. <laughs> You know, yeah. like, what a disappointment. There's no bias there. They, like, legit just I thought you were going to go with the likes no. video. This smells like bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> and did it has bourbon smells. You mean you don't want to, Mike, you, you're getting to, uh, Adam, you're getting tired of watching videos where caramel, brown you know sugar. Are. Well, so, so when you first, yeah, when, you, when he first texted Maybe me. Maybe a little that, cherry. Yeah, my, my feeling was, like, we know Sam Houston, Calumet 14, Calumet 15. Uh, you know, we know where those are from. We kind of have an idea of what that tastes like, right? Bourbon is like, Bourbon may have never even tried freaking LT, and he would have just known, that's MGB 12 here, it's good. I mean, you know that's I mean? why I bought it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, that's, like, he just knows. I, I like... 12 year MGP, right? People know I like 14 year, you know, Calumet. Is it worth, is 14 year Barton worth $130 to you? 
Yeah, and I think it's got to a point where, like, I've been able to compare, you know, because I've tasted stuff now. I've been able to compare and be like, well, this is what they thought about this, and this is how I'm yeah. feeling about it. So, like, Stag Jr. with some people is, like, you know, amazing. Like, everybody loves that stuff, and it's fine. Like, I, I enjoy it, but, again, like, I've mentioned, like, I'm just not huge on Buffalo Trace, so, like, some of that stuff... I, I realize, okay, like they love this stuff. Like I'm not huge on that, but I do love this stuff and maybe they aren't huge on that, you know? So it's just. So I do watch like, A, I like the creativity, right? So I'll go watch like shelf turds when they were pulling shit out of the, you know, Pegasus ass or whatever it was. Like, <laughs> funny as hell. Right. When like Kira looks at the camera, I was like, oh my God, I felt awkward there. But, uh, you know, and, and I like Anthony, you know, he'll compare like, and even Trev did this where you're comparing the different, you know, uh, smoke wagon, right? Like that's kind of interesting to me. And I like Adriana's cause she does it in different places. Like there's an entertainment value to that. But you know, the bourbon junkies like, yep, this Russell reserves hitter. Every, every bottle they get that's supposed to be a hitter is the best of the year. You know, and then, and what really wow. gets me is these channels that are, you know, getting, free, not that, I mean, maybe it's jealousy, I'm not going to lie, but it's like, they're getting people sending them a Russell's Reserve 13, then they're getting the Old Forester 117 or whatever it is, you know what I mean? And it's, that's great. I love seeing reviews of something nobody can get but you. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And I, I would much rather do something that Anthony's doing where it's like, this is Matthew McConaughey's pick, you know, <laughs> or, yeah, or Marty's, you know, review of the black and black and amazing. Yeah. Oh, that's and there's certain cool. channels. So where I'll watch their videos no matter what. And we kind of have our little group of, of channels yeah. and everything. And like Adriana, like I'll watch hers and everything, but I just watched yeah, hers on the our big more or less. Like I'm just not, I don't find the big channel reviews as appealing, especially if it's like, like I think Jason reviewed that Ezra 99 or something not too long ago, like stuff like that. Like I'm just not watching anymore. Like I used to watch all that stuff and now I just, so I just I'm watch more choosy on which ones I'll actually watch. And I agree with what you said. I'm not watching as many of those reviews, but yes, I do watch Adriana. Um, like I said, I just looked at her Arbeg one that she did. I don't care for peated scotch, um, particularly that high of level of peat. That's just not me. Um, but I watch her. I watched ADHD whiskey when he did uh, Penelope, the bourbon. Oh, God. And, uh, you watched the one where he did the, the freaking Tabasco. Uh, Dickle Tabasco? Yeah, I, I did watch that. No, one. I meant to do that, that today. Oh my it's God. Like something like way off, right? So yeah. that one, I'm like, oh, yeah. I, I, I do that. like ADHD. I think yeah. I like ADHD's videos more than his lives. Mm. He's yeah. super entertaining in his. He is. He you is. Know, he's very entertaining. He has, you know, he has he's not this style. thing. Yeah, he's not just saying, oh, this is caramel yeah. and, you know, oh No, no. Where he like, comes up with the banana nut bread with the, uh, what do they call it, Twizzlers drizzled with uh, caramel, and it's like, what? Yeah, <laughs> and I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like I, I find myself chuckling at his stuff still. So, yeah. like, But I'm then like, I find myself saying to this, how do you know all this, Matt? What does? How do you know all these tastes? And then I chuckle because I think about him and HBR in their contest, and I go, <laughs> "Okay, I got it." Um, <laughs> so, I, I, I've been doing something a little different lately. I'll throw it out there. Does anybody else find themselves? They see a video with a with a whiskey. They want to know something about, and they'll just fast forward to the last minute or two of the video. I've been doing that a lot lately. All right, give Depends. me your opinion. I, I know the history of Buffalo Trace already. I know the history of all the distillery already. I don't care that you're A, B, C, D, and it 14 times. Just tell me the end. Tell me what you thought of it. And Like, like I would much rather watch Marty's. I do that sometimes. Them. Ben. I, I would rather watch Marty review a whiskey than it's bourbon night. 
Mm. Well, I, think, I think part of it that's too, a bad example because <clears throat> I'll, I'll go out there and say uh, I, I'll watch it's perfect night. I won't. I, I cannot but stand pre- watching them but... doing tasting notes. It drives me nuts. Part of it, though, for me too. Pick, just like, I know paper over chat. It's much better. I know people's in here's palettes, right? Like I know, I know Tito's palette. I know Neophyte's palette. Mike's like I know Adriana's palette. So that makes it more interesting to me. Where it's like, oh, what did they think of that one? Or oh, you know, Adriana with her Knob Creek, like. She yeah. she's over here drinking art bag. Like what is what is that all about? So I think that kind of factors in as well. Well, that kind of shocked me when I found out a while ago that oh she likes a peated scotch. And I'm like, now isn't that totally I know. Mrs. Anti fucking rye, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> like all these so really today, big rise and she's like, woman? No, I'm gonna jump straight to the fucking peated scotch. No, and she doesn't like malt. No. <laughs> yeah. Did you see what this one's finished then? So one of one of her things that I left a comment, you know, because you know she was in Vegas. <laughs> I didn't know. I'm okay. telling you, I had no clue. She swears she told me. I, I don't recall that. But I left a comment you know. on that about her bottles, you know. But you see what it's in? She hasn't I don't know if she's read it yet because she didn't reply, but I know she would reply back. Probably. But Probably. um that mm-hmm. just for her to drink our begging, just like you said, she doesn't like rye. She's really into the Knob Creek. So you think of that profile, and when you go to something like that Scotch, that's a heavily peated that that one is, and she's picking out different notes out of it. I'm like, the only thing I got was band aids and iodine. And she'll, <laughs> that's the only like, thing yeah. I got out of our bag. She gives like thoughtful tasting notes too. Like she really. Oh, yeah. She really tries to like get get stuff out, and yeah, that, that's more interesting to me than like people that so like the junkies uh, their videos. Like, I mean, they've tried everything, right? Like, they've tried literally everything. So they're kind of comparing stuff on a on a scale that's like completely different than any small channel. Like, they're comparing to all this other stuff. Like when they, I used to watch their um, <clears throat> like cheap bottle videos back in the day. Cause that's the stuff that I was like starting my journey on, you know, it's like, Oh, well, what's this? What's these budget bottles? Like what's good in there. And now of course doing the higher proof stuff, like you get to a point where it's like, okay, well that stuff doesn't interest me as much. And exactly. so seeing them do stuff like that, like I, I have no interest in watching those videos anymore. And that's just like Cheech said earlier, you know, he does go shopping, but now he's more selective in his shopping. Like, eh, nah, I don't want that. You know, I've turned down Blanton's left and right, left and right. I'm not interested in Blanton's. So to, just to listen to what you all are saying, what you're specifically looking for on different reviews is not that you don't necessarily like the review, you're not looking at it because one, I haven't tried it yet. I want to try it before I hear somebody else. Absolutely. I try not to look at reviews. I try not to look at other content on it. I may watch a review, but I, I will purposely skip past one because, oh, I'm going to do Kentucky Spear. Now I just cracked this one, but I'm going to do a review on it. But I just think it's a great sipper and I could sip it every day, but Berben might've done a review on it. And if I hear that he says, Oh, strong banana. And we're all this way. Once someone puts something in your head, sometimes banana, orange peel, uh, lemon zest, then all of a sudden there it is. So when I did the long branch, like I said, until Marty helped me with the connection with the mesquite, I couldn't figure out that off putting flavor. I agree it's probably the mesquite, but I don't have anything else that was filtered through mesquite charcoal to say, yes. You see what I'm saying? I don't have anything to say, okay, this is similar. It's filtered through mesquite charcoal. I want to taste it to see if that off-putting taste with the sourness, you know, oh, yep, that's it. It's the mesquite. Yeah. 
Yeah, I agree, yeah. John. And it's and, not that and I don't for the record, trust I don't them. hate it's bourbonite. They don't have to squash us. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. It's not that I hate certain people's channels' palettes. I just, yeah. I think it is like the format of some people's channels where it's just like this almost the same video over and over with a different whiskey. And it's like, I'm not interested in seeing your style of this review, too. Like it's. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And I think the way the style that we're all doing this, you know, uh, Livewire, Cheech, um, myself, Marty, Bourbon Battalion is now getting into it. This type of format and discussing, because everybody has different ways and so on. So you don't count, Bourbon. Nope. You eat your you pickles know. like watermelon. You don't count. Bourbon don't count. Exactly, Bourbon. You can't do that. It's just sacrilegious. Can't do what? I was watching I, you I, eat that pickle, eat that. and you were like eating the insides of it, and then just ditch the rest of the pickle. I just thought that was strange. That was all. Pickle? What the hell are you talking about? Pickle? He what are you was looking at an apple. Apple. It looked like you had a pickle, like a spear pickle. <laughs> he was <laughs> looking at an apple. Watermelon. Watermelon. Oh, it was watermelon. I thought it was a pickle, and I was watching you eat like that. I was like, that is weird. <laughs> Fucking watermelon. Tito, get your eyes checked, buddy. Holy oh, God. God. These color oh, off. I have glasses, but I keep them in the car. Do you want me to show you a pickle uh. on the screen? I'll show you. <laughs> no, okay. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. It might have a little hair on it, but you'll recognize it as a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> I need more black, buddy. You need one in black? Jesus, dude, go with a new color. No. <laughs> that, that, that purple is I'm sexy. wearing a gray t shirt right yeah, now. Yeah, that's that's light black. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us I'll have dander pictures. We need t shirt colors that are not black. Adam, <laughs> do you do you really want one in black? Or a color that's Maybe. not available. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like I was just gonna. You know what? I'll, I'll hook you up, bro. I'll do one on the on the side that's not available to the public, and you'll have a one of a kind. Yes. One yeah. of a kind. Can you, can you number it for me, like a like a record, like a rare record or something? Yeah, yeah, like one of one. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'll sharpie that. One shit. oh one. <laughs> one of one. That's right. One oh one. Yeah, gray. Right. Well, it's perfect. Gray, you got it. Lily? And cheese. You have forty million of the other one. Yeah, like, but they're all, all the different, different types styles. of tea. What type of tea is the most comfortable? The one that I did for the men. That's the one. That's the one that most of mine are. No, 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 no. Of the 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 Glen design, the the other design. Whatever I one I just one did. Too. Hold on, I'll tell you. It's the men's classic. That's the one you want. Men's classic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see a classic, yeah. and I see classic a men's tea. People. No, Glen cla uh, classic tea. Okay, that's the one. Not the premium blend. Well, the premium blend's nice because it's super soft on your skin. <laughs> so, so why yeah. are you holding out on me? No, no, I like if you're if you're used to like concert type T-shirts, then the classic right. tee is the way to go. That's the ones I okay. like. Okay. Yeah. If you got a hairy man chest, just go with the classic tee, dude. Go with classic the classic tee. It is. Well, you if you really got know. a hairy man chest, I can always hey, put up a tank actually, top for you. They actually shave part of my chest. God damn it. Oh, to put on your yeah. sensors? Jesus, yeah. what did that do to the razor? Oh, can we see it? <laughs> can we see it? <laughs> oh, yeah. They, use, oh, they yeah. didn't use the razor. They used the chainsaw. Anthony, you're going to get a <laughs> shut down for that. Those are double I'm Ds. I'm telling you. a machete to get through there. <laughs> Actually, they used a straight blade. Yeah, that's how Lilith, it It just ran to pour bleach in her eyes. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Too much Sorry, Lilith. Apologize. All right, I gotta hit the sack, Anthony. Thank you for having me on, buddy. Yeah, you know you're always welcome. See Talk you to you, man. How about two. Talk to you tomorrow, man. Oh yeah. Of the same? No. Or are they different? Two different? I okay. bought I bought a gray one with your logo, and then that one. Okay. Well, thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Oh Jesus, Lilith. <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong. It's called a bro. No. Bro, a man's ear. Oh, man's ear. <laughs> yeah, it's the man's ear. <laughs> All right, see you guys. See ya. Yeah. Bye, Mike. Oh, that's awesome.
Thanks, Mike Stahl, for ordering a couple T-shirts. I appreciate hey, it. And how do we start an intervention? Have a good time with Mike and the boys tomorrow, John T. John dirty T's Mike and the boys. Mike John. and Mike boys? Dirty, dirty Mike and the boys. <laughs> uh, anybody knows that reference. I didn't hear it. I'm sorry. I'm answering text messages. You don't know that one, Tito? I didn't hear it. I didn't never hear saw it. The other, never saw the other guys? No. Dirty never Mike saw and the boys? No. Using the Prius as a fuck shack or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I was too busy buying Good night, John T. t-shirt. It's a, it's a great movie with uh, Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell. Okay. What? I'll have to check that out. Ben Demon Hunter's in the house. What's up, Ben Demon yes, Hunter? Yes, he is. He's been he's been lurking around. Yeah. Well, I've barely been paying attention What's to ben Demon text Hunter? messages and shit. <sighs> Zeo. Ben Demon Hunter's a metalhead, by the way. <laughs> Uh, I went a little finished. ham yesterday at the store. You went a who? You had ham. I went a little ham. ham I need. I need to. I need to. I need to be put on whiskey timeout. I think. Uh oh. What'd you? All right. Can you can you zoom in on Tito? We got to see what he bought. Ah, uh, you sure you want to see it? I. You yeah. probably don't. Show it to us. All right. Is it Malort? No, no Malort. Unfortunately, no. I grabbed a Calumet 15. Fuck yeah. I grabbed... That ain't bad. A Sam Houston 15. Uh, I've got that. Oh, yeah. Delicious. Fuck yeah. What about a Doc Swenson? No Doc Swenson. I got one of the Leopold three-chamber eyes. Oh, dude, I just tried that today for the first time. But I had already bought one that I think I got scammed on, so I might end up with two bottles of that. But... What else? Oh, is that a scam? Wait, you know? think they scammed well, you? No, I, it, it, if it came, I have to message them. It hasn't even shipped yet, and it's been like three weeks or so, and it, they already have them in stock. So it said it was a pre-order, but then they're already they've been in stock for a while now. I don't know. It may call not be. Tomorrow. Yeah, I will. I just haven't gotten around to it. If not, I'll call them and be like, "What the fuck? This is Tito." <laughs> I got a burning chair store pick. I hated the regular. Burning chair or burning chair, not burning man. But I've been seeing you, those, but I haven't tried. Grab a store pick anyway. It, 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 the rule of thumb: if it's in a black bottle from them, avoid it at all costs. It's garbage. But okay. I haven't tried that yet. But that one's supposed to be pretty good. I got a Heaven's Door store pick, straight bourbon. What the? That's the Bob Dylan one, isn't it? Never do is that again. Heaven's Door is it Tennessee it's or Indiana? It's I'm, on the side. With who it came from, I'm assuming Indiana. It's on the side on their picks. It's on the side. Little narrow label on one side. Indiana. There you go. That's a yeah, that's a it. that could be Woo. up to an eight year MGP pick. Let me see if it says age. I'll look on the site. He usually puts the age on the. That's on... gonna be. That should be a shockingly good bottle. Yeah, that's what I'm. Basically, basically, people stop buying their entire barrel program. So. I got a um, Elijah Craig store pick that he did a year and a half ago, and they told him that the bottle was or the barrel was lost, and so he never got it. And then all of a sudden, they found the barrel. And by the time they dumped it, it was over 12 and a half years old. So hopefully. So where did you find uh, it? Are, are there any it, more it, of those? It's all, it's, all, it's all from one store. Are there any more of those or are they sold out? Those are probably still there. I don't know. Oh. He, he set them aside. Do I need to get more? And then I got yes. two backbone Ooh. bourbon ones. One wow. of them, the, the bone diddly is. The regular, it's a seven year. And yeah, like Lilith said, just a few bottles there, Tito. Yeah. 
And then the other one is a seven year that's aged in, or which one of them is aged in something? This what one. What are the proofs on those two? On those two, the one that's not aged in anything is 117. The one that's aged in seven months in Apera, which is Australian sherry barrels, is 114.1. Those are going to be freaking delicious. The other, the other um, back ones I have, I like. I think that's it. Yeah, that was it. You done good, Tito. Oh, and, the, and, the, and the Yellowstone pick. I don't think I held that your one. Your summer or whiskey budget, right there. Good job, for man. real. It's, the problem was I hadn't been in there in a while, so when he started pulling out what he had for me, it was just yeah, it adds up quick. Dude, those you know, those good time. What's that? You got to hook us up on those Elijah Craig picks. All right, let, let me let me see how many more they got when I get down there. The place is just freaking far. Well, not that what far. Were they like 35, 40 bucks or No, they were they were under 30, I believe. What? What? What was that now? Got to have one of those. Okay. Hang on. I can look yeah, in the Facebook very, group and tell you what they were. Essentially, no like, like an Elijah Craig pirate bottle, dude. Like the yeah. Old- I'll do it, like it, it tastes fantastic. All right, Neophyte, you can take them off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm going to. Much He's Cheeto. Going home. Much Cheeto. Although we yeah. do have a – they do have a maker's pick coming out that is so good that makers is paying him for some of the bottles so that they can oh, enter yeah, it yeah. into their competition oh, as, their, as their entry. Style. Yeah, he let me taste it. Buy them. Lilith said, "Buy them all." I buy them all. Which one? The makers? I was like, "No, oh, the uh, Elijah, the Elijah Craig." Craig. Y'all yeah, see what they have? What is that? Old Forester? Oh, the one seventeen. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's the mashing drum one, right? That's you what I got on my birthday from what? Jason. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, is that no, the first one seventeen? The one that was like the lower proof. This is 110 proof. Okay, so that's the second release then, right? Yeah. It's the new blend from Jackie's ICAM. Nice. So to, to move to the left a little bit, Ben the Demon Hunter. <laughs> when when I was a lot younger and in scouting, I woke up to six of them in my tent. Six. And I didn't get sprayed. And they were crawling underneath our bunks and everything. And um, yeah, why I was dreaming about ducks prior to that, I don't know. But I kept feeling something brush against my back because I was on a cot. It's Mike Stone. And so I rolled over and I kept hearing the sound <laughs> going, shh, shh. And I, I couldn't figure out what it was. So I was coming out of a sleep and realized the skunks were there i could smell them but they didn't spray but you know they're odorous so they but the shushing sound or that i heard was my buddy in the bunk next to me telling me to be quiet because the he had no also but anyway they all left we got out unscathed but that story still comes up in conver- conversation 35 years later, 37 years later, all the time. Uh, I love a good skunk story. Oh, Dude, <laughs> Pennsylvania, they're all over the place. Listen, I was camping in Pennsylvania. This is like right before I met my wife, so it's been a little yeah. over 20 years ago. And I was camping in uh, central Pennsylvania, and uh, I had to go uh, relieve myself, so... Uh, I went on the trail that we were hiking off of earlier in the day before we decided to set up camp. I was like, oh, I'm just going to go back up that trail, and there's a big tree over there I can water. I could water, and uh, it was a pretty dark night out. There wasn't much of a moon, and uh, I was relieving myself on a tree, and then I realized the bush that was next to the tree started moving, and it was a skunk, or there was a skunk com- coming out of it, and somehow. I'm not sure if I wet on the skunk itself, but the skunk did not spray me. 
but it was the biggest skunk I've seen in my life. Like with its tail up in there, it looked like it was three feet tall. You now perspective was a little. Oh bigger. yeah. But it was a big skunk, and uh, somehow it did not spray me. And the next I... morning at sunrise, I was relaying the story to one of my friends. He's like, "Well, show me where you were," and I went up to the trail that I was on. And as I got to the trail, I found the tree, and I was literally two maybe three steps away from about an 80 foot straight drop off off the side of, of a quarry that I didn't know was there at all. And so if that skunk would have sprayed me and I would have run in the other direction, I would have most likely met my maker right then and there. But thankfully that uh, skunk did not spray me or come near me. So I got the hike a part of the Appalachian trail twice there in Pennsylvania. Oh yeah. That's where I was. Yeah, and um, that was something. Once when I was in my teens, and then once when I was in my uh, early 20s, I took my scout troop through there. And um, I, skunks were everywhere. I mean, I could look left, I could look right. During the day, afternoon, it didn't make a difference. They were just out and about. Um, but. That one skunk story about me in a tent, it was an old Army wall tent. Like I said, there were six of them in there. Six. I mean, yeah. you could reach, just reach out and pet them. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. You know. <laughs> Stinky kitty. kitty. Uh, I just got like the biggest butterscotch note I think I've ever gotten off of any whiskey when I first let that old Forester 17 hit my palate. And I haven't drank this since I got the bottle back in, I guess it was the end of March, early April. So that's pretty good. Is this still a distillery only release though? Does anybody know? Ben, is this still a distillery only release? The uh, old Forester 117? Yeah. Somebody help mm-hmm. me. Did Chase just get really quiet to anyone else? It's me. Well, hey, yeah. Let, can you hear me now, Ben? Yes. I yes. mean, in your sultry voice, maybe a little. I can't help it. I really can't. I'm just a quiet person. Because I think you asked me a question, but I have no idea I said, do you know if the Old Forester 117 is still a distillery-only release? I know it has been. So, supposedly, they are Kentucky-only release. However, supposedly, they only sent, like, a case out of the distillery. So it's just a joke. Then they're just pulling one yeah, over. Yeah, there's some like Kentucky rule that they have to send it out or something. Right. So uh, like supposedly like a case went to a total wine. You know, when I was in Kentucky, I didn't see any Old Forester at any store that I went to. There was no Old Forester anywhere. And you know, I went into a few stores, Ben, but I didn't see Old Forester in any ship, any store. I mean, is it possible you just were we looking right through it? No, no, I looked at everything twice. You know that. I told you, I'm going through, I'm going through again. I'm going through, I'm going through again. I checked everything. And I was, it was noticeably absent. I was like, you know, maybe it's just where I was in Kentucky. This wasn't a big old forester place, I guess. <laughs> Hold on. Mike Stahl, I thought you were going to bed, buddy. There you go. <laughs> talk smack. He just didn't want to fall asleep on the stream. If there's any chance that we're talking about him, he's going to be watching. <laughs> Is he that 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 paranoid? Oh yeah. Uh, His phone goes off. When 4 a.m. Thursday. I'm going to do a, a stream all about Mike Stall. 4 a.m. Thursday morning, from 4 to 6:30 a.m. I'm going to be doing a stream all about Mike Stall. Don't miss it, Mike. Yeah, Colorado, but mountain time, right? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah totally mountain time, of course. I don't want him to miss it. Hopefully he doesn't have anything important to do Thursday morning. Mm-hmm. All right, I will be a proofy bitch soon. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm going to so order mine on payday. What, is it, what does it cost okay. to be a proofy bitch? Twenty four. It costs about 30 bucks to be a proofy bitch. Yeah. Unless I found a 10% coupon. Yeah. Oh, that's You're the thing I hate boy. about this break. It's like, I do too. It's so expensive. I wish I could so make much. my shirts $15. 
Instead of the ones in the concert, you need to get the bootleg ones being sold outside. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. In the top row with the flashlight. Yep. So what was in your glass, Ben, that you were swollen around there? Um, something that smells really, really delicious until everyone was talking about skunks, and now I can't fucking smell or taste anything but like skunk. Oh, that's that's blackened then, right? No, it's a fourteen <laughs> year unfinished MGP. Uh-huh. I was trying to show off the legs. It glues itself to the side of the glass. Well I was looking at that but I couldn't quite make it out yeah, and there was some writing on the glass. See if, you, see if you can see it. Full screen me for a second. Hold on. But there was some writing on the glass, right? Oh yeah that's uh yeah, hang on. Yeah, it's, it's a Graham Monnier Glen. Okay. I don't know if you can see the legs or not. Probably not, right? I did before you were full screen. Oh, oh right yeah, there. yeah, there you go. Right there. there you go. Okay. Yeah, they're like glued. glued to the side of the Glen. But, like, I feel like my tasting notes are now being overwhelmed by thoughts of skunk. Well, just get that out of your mind. Have another sip of that, and it'll all go away. Mm. I also think I caught my tongue a little on, my, like, my last bite of watermelon. And, uh, so now we don't like want to know burning. how your tongue got in the way of that, but that's okay. It's always in the way. Okay, mm -hmm. I got a big tongue. <laughs> I like baseball. Uh -huh. Is that inappropriate? No, not at this hour. No. Mm -hmm. Ten thirty-five okay? Pacific cool? time. <laughs> One thirty East Coast time. No, it's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you seen my baseball? <laughs> Do we want to? Got that reference. <laughs> Everybody did before the neophyte. <laughs> oh. I missed your last one. Oh, no, that was Adam's I missed earlier. Did you get my most recent one? Which one was that? Uh, it hasn't popped up in StreamYard yet, but it's in YouTube. I don't. Oh, I'm in stupid pop chat, uh, and I haven't liked it. Amateur, yet. total amateur. <laughs> what an yeah. amateur move that is! Hey, my mic was on today. That's a step That's in the better. right direction. That's definitely better. Yeah, Adam, I don't see a message from you on YouTube. The hell? I sent it. You gotta hit send. I did. <laughs> Sense. Maybe it went to other people's computers. It didn't come to mine. Oh, it's good. That's not as good as that. Okay. I don't know. Maybe there was some stuff in there interpreted as bad words. Oh, there you go. Well, you since, hate speech. since Adriana couldn't be here, I'm having a little Knob Creek in her honor. There you go. I'll, I'll post it in private chat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, now oh, Mike okay. Stahl doesn't get to oh, see it. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's talk about Mike Stahl in the private chat all night. <laughs> He'll be back in within five minutes. Do you know the reference? No. Not off the top of my head. But then again, I don't pick up on a lot of references. I watch a movie... By the time the, I'm entertained and by the time the movie's over, I forgot the whole thing. Anybody? For yeah. what? Private chat. The message oh. in private chat. <laughs> oh, good stuff. But hot tub time machine. Goddamn. Oh, okay. 
I've seen oh, that one. God, I haven't watched that in a dog's but age. It's been a while. Oh, that's a great movie. That's like one of my favorite. Well, there's Hot Tub Time Machine 2 also. Yeah. Sequels are mm -hmm. never as good. So where have you been hiding, Tito? That's the important thing. I was camping was for like a week. And I've been camping for a while. I've been back for a week. I've popped in a few times. Well, I do know you were around because I'd asked and then I would hear, oh, we had a Tito sighting. We had a Tito sighting. Okay. But I knew you were you were going away, but I forgot about the camping trip. Yeah. You know, found out it was Mike's birthday and he's like, fuck this, I'm out of here. Well, <laughs> Pretty much, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand it. No, mm -hmm. we, we weren't home during that stream. We were at someone's house. So I had it kind of just going on my phone. That's right. Lurking? Mm -hmm. Lurking. That's what I, probably like 80% of the time I just lurk. I didn't get one of those yet, but that's on my uh, list to get one of the Knob Creek Rise. I'm almost done with this one. Dude, those picks are good. This one's so good. This is the Knob Creek. This is the ride that Adriana would come over to rise for. I'm so sad to see this one go. Well, I think that's is that one of the ones that she's I'm not gonna say in love with. She doesn't hate it. Correct. Yeah. And I then I think it was the one that Burben sent. Wasn't it? Didn't you send her a ride that she was like, I couldn't believe it? She'll mm -hmm. come around. It's, you know, it's one of those. It's an ex, you know, exactly. Everybody's got their own journey, and one day she'll get one that just changes her life. Mm -hmm. There you go, Mike. Now you can know what was. There, there you go, Adam. You were able to make that doable. Skirted I mean, the system. Yeah, you slipped it through. Fucking showed them. <laughs> sure <did. laughs> Fuck you, Google. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to get you shut down, Anthony. <laughs> Google's <laughs> the best thing ever. Don't shut down Anthony's stream. Please, Google. Yay, Google. With your shitty mic, Cheech. Ah, that's funny, uh, Mike. This mic's not shitty at all. It takes that's one right. shitty Google mic to know a shitty mic. That's the only thing. Yeah, I, you know, I don't want to be... I already talk too much. No. Anyway. <laughs> I'm looking at new options. I mean, like I said, I... I this is a recording mic. I need to be kind of close to it, but uh, overall, I think it sounds good. Mm hmm. You sound good. I'm just quiet, you know. Dulcet Tim tones. Evans. I know. I thought Tim took off. No, Tim's Tim been never lurking. Takes off. He's just been lurking. He's been lurking, 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 and jerking. Mm hmm. And if Ben's involved, there'll be a gherkin. <laughs> Apparently, because he will pickles. Be. Yeah, and an apology. Better actually, watermelon. Oh, did you mean bourbon? I thought you meant Ben Demon Hunter. What the hell is that? Your underwear? <laughs> <laughs> if Turn he unmutes himself, we could actually. I've got everyone quiet right there. It's <laughs> not talking. It's probably better for him. <laughs> he even muted himself for some reason, but that's yeah. okay. Because he's chatting with his cousin. Yeah, do you, do you guys want to hear me talking to my cousin and monopolizing the stream? Sure. Sure. Watch. <laughs> oh. oh, that's why I muted myself. Here, this is better. <laughs> this is better. There you go. There you go. Oh, God, I can't get that freaking picture out of my head. <laughs> any, any, anytime that pops up, dude, I just... It's called envy, Adam. <laughs> nah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. You can't unsee what you've seen once you've seen it. So how many pins did uh, McGregor get in his leg? Oh, oh, I don't know. That picture was pretty horrid. I saw that Sunday morning. I was like... Oh, that's yeah. graphic. Mm -hmm. I just like how Poirier felt when he checked that kick. Oh. He just he smiles and points at his leg. He's like, oh, you're he knew broken. exactly when it happened. Mm -hmm. 
And then How a little while later, we've seen that though. We've seen like John Jones break his toe. We saw somebody else. Was it uh, Anderson uh, Silva snapped his leg? Yeah, Anderson um, slapped his leg. That was that, crazy. That Irish skinny guy did uh, not too long ago. Sean O'Malley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's the one. Yeah. That was amazing. And then what? What's his name? Uh, Weidman also broke his leg. Oh yeah, Josh Weidman. That's true. Weidman. That's true. No, 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 not Josh. Not what's his name? I can't think of his first name. But Weidman. Weidman. I got to look at it. it. And then there was another guy. Was it Hill? Someone a while back snapped his shin also. And then, of Chris course. Chris Weidman. Chris Weidman. Sorry. Chris Weidman. There you go. Yeah, Chris Weidman. Oh, I watched that fight. That was rough. <laughs> and then Tim, Tim Silva when, or oh, Sylvia when he yeah. snapped his forearm from Frank horrible. Mir. Oh, that was the worst. Oh, that was so brutal. <laughs> that one. As a drummer, that really hurts me. <laughs> you know the forearm thing. Out. Like, hey, well, you need your legs too. Yeah. Well, I do, but man, I, I mean, I've hurt my legs many times. I just couldn't imagine breaking my forearm. Hey, it's it, devastating. To if me. you break one of your forearms, you know, you just become. You, you, you can still pay. Pour some sugar on me with one arm. You know? <laughs> it's funny you say that. Sometimes when we play that song, I will just use one arm. <laughs> but you don't have the triggers that he did. Uh, I have some. St- I have some tricks up my sleeves. Oh, okay, for sure, for sure. that's amazing, Cheech. So true, true story. I was doing a. Uh, I was in a class, and um, we're doing mountain bikes, and they're teaching you how to go up and down stairs. So to ride your mountain bike down a set of stairs. Oh God! And. The other thing was is in a panic stop, if you accidentally hit the front brake without applying the back back brake, what happens? The back end comes up and over you go. So they teach you how to counteract that in a panic situation. So you get going as fast as you can and then hit that back brake and you know what's going to happen. So long and short of it is you get your butt off of the seat and sit on your saddlebags in the back, which pushes the back seat or the back wheel down. All right, fine. You recover, you pedal, you boom, you take off. There were two people that apparently didn't get the memo. And then, of (laughs) course, they continued to go over. So they broke both their forearms. So the ambulance came twice to the class. And then the only thing I could think of is, is I sure hope their wives love them. Yeah. (laughs) No kidding. I get you, Anthony. I know exactly what you're saying. Because my wife would probably look at me and say, yeah, you're really in trouble. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You say, with motorcycles, if you lock up the back wheel, they tell you to stand up on that back brake. Because the back brake's your foot brake and your hand yep. brake does more of the front. And they say if the back wheel locks up, you stand up on it. You last thing you want is that wheel to turn. Because if it does, it whips back into line and you get just launched. Cheers, James. Brake. James Taylor. James Thanks Taylor. For joining us. I know. Is it the James Taylor? Like uh, yeah. sweet baby James? That James Taylor? <laughs> uh, I know some James Taylor songs. Don't kid yourself. That's right. For sure. But yeah, that was it was interesting since we're talking about that broken forearms and stuff. But, right. Woo. So years ago I took a motorcycle safety class. Mm-hmm. Did absolutely great. Got like a ninety nine on the written test. And it was one of the hottest days we had here in Vegas. That particular Saturday was like 113. I am sweating like a whore in church. <laughs> I see. Oh, that. it's late enough. It's okay. <laughs> I say <see> that. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Sorry, everyone in chat. Apologize, but um, it was hot. And uh, when I'm doing the final exam, the instructor gives you a thing, and they've got all figure eights they've got loops they've got this they've got that i was almost done and i was into a figure eight 
coming around and I leaned a little too far. My left foot went down. I came around. Everything was fine. We get down to the end of the class. We're inside and they're going over everything and they call your name and you go up and they tell you how you did. And he told me they failed me after two days. My foot touched. You can't touch. So long and short of that was is, is I about died that Saturday in that heat with that helmet on right. for six hours, seven hours that Sunday. It's not like you're traveling 55, 60 miles an hour. So you don't get the breeze. Right. You're sitting over this bike. You're in a parking lot going around some in cones. A parking lot <laughs> yeah. for hours. Anyway, yeah, that I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get my buddy's 100 Honda scooter, go right up to the DMV, <laughs> take the and test there, be done with it. But that was like six, seven years ago. I haven't done it yet. But if I do it, that's what I'm gonna do it on because it doesn't make a difference what you do it on. Right. You just have to take it. So here in Nevada, if it's 49 cc's and below, you don't need a license. If it's above 49 cc's, you need a license. And then so, does Nevada have like California where there's the M1 and the M2, depending on how many CCs or is everything above 50 one license? I think it's one license, but you know, I have okay. to, I don't quote me, but yeah, I think it's just one license. California. I want to say one of them is for up to 250 and one is above that, but I could be wrong on that number. I know we have an M1 and M2 M1. You can anything on two wheels. And an M2 is only up to a certain CC level. Hmm. Bye bye. I ben. big... Ben's gone. I guess you guys made made Burben mad. He's hanging with his cousin. They're probably having a good fucking time right now. That'd be my guess. Well, I, he's trying to get back on the stream, but he can't figure out how to connect his device. I don't know what he's connecting. I had to take that safety course twice. I ran over the instructor the first time. So that was an auto fail. If he would have got out of your way, you wouldn't have. That's what I'm saying. No, I was like, I had two straight all nighters going into the Saturday ride. And yeah, I don't know. I hit something wrong. And he basically had to dive onto the pavement to avoid getting run over. And he immediately was like, you got to go. You're done. So I went back a couple weeks later and did it. Mm -hmm. I just that was like, yeah, that was like 15 years ago, 20 years ago. It's been a while. Mm. Yeah, it's been a while for me, but you know, all right, hold on. Let, let's see. There he is. <laughs> looks the same. No picture. Yeah, no he, hasn't he hasn't changed. He looks the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also there figured he, out. There he isn't. What's that? There he is. Anthony, There's you have 14 people lover. in chat. 14 people in chat at this ridiculous hour on a I know. Tuesday. I know. Wednesday morning people early know. for us. What's up, people chat? Know. What do talk about? That this is the place to be when it comes to talking bourbon, motorcycles, you know, bourbon, eating watermelon. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, we, we talk about it all at this time of the night. You know, what else hot do pockets. people? Hot pockets. Yeah. You know, if you like hot pockets, we don't care at this time of night. Adam, what are you pouring? Mountain Dew. Probably. Which one's that? B521. I don't have that. What do you have? Uh, H, what are you what are you drinking then? I, I don't want to change what you're drinking, Adam. I I'm, don't drink, I'm drinking that Knob Creek Rye store pick. I'm Butter. still drinking the Knob Creek 120. It's the store pick called Hobby Knobby. Oh nice. This, this one is uh, 115 proof. Yeah, yeah. The, the rye. rye. It's uh, it's got a nice little spice to it. I'll do you a, a good knob store pick you want to put here. What's that? You got a good Knob Creek store pick you want to pour? Yeah, I'm going to pour a, a rye one also. 
you know, Anthony, with uh, Hobby Lobby being a Christian-owned company, I wonder how they feel about that uh, that label. They might not be happy about it. That'd be my guess. They I'm might not, saying, not be. Yeah, I'm not saying they're going to do anything, but... Uh... <laughs> ben, that's the best audio avatar ever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which one is that, Adam? Just a bourbon store pick. Oh, Jeez, I, 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 find it. I don't know where it's at. This thing has turned out to be real good. Real good. It's one of the newer bottles. But, uh, what's up, Whiskey Samurai? Oh, oh it looks like the what's junkies are dead. Hey, cheers, Whiskey Samurai. Whiskey Samurai, hey. Knob Creek Rye, if you have one, pour it. That's right. Junkies finally went off. We outlasted the junkies. Mm-hmm. They finally That's went all off. Account. They went them. off over an hour ago. Oh, they've been off for a while. I, I, I've had them over on the other screen. No, dude, they just went off. Not from what I see, <laughs> I was literally watching them like a few minutes ago. Oh, you're right. That's why you were quiet. You're right. Hobby Lobby is a craft store. Correct. I was there today. And Demon Hunter, I'm just explain. It's a craft store. Um, What's up, David Bass? One more cast. That's okay. where that comes from. What's up, people? This is the Thanks after for party. in. After after party. That, while you guys are here, you smash that like button and subscribe. Heck We're yeah. drinking uh, some Knob Creek. Some's drinking rye. Some's drinking straight bourbon. I'm drinking a store pick. For Ben, he's just drinking. He's drinking oh, life. KC12 is good, buddy. Yeah. Can't go wrong. Yep. Nope. Exactly. This is it. This is the place. After party. I finally got to try the cast drain to that. Someone. Oh, dude. Me. I tried it too. That was so good. So David Bass, good, good right? to see you, buddy. It is the after party, so right. It is. Welcome. Whiskey Samurai here. One mo one mo cast. Come on. All the one more naps in out. the house. Well, he's been staying awake. The um I know, but he started is- a trend. He was the first. <laughs> he was. Yeah. Well somebody's gotta be the OG. Might as well be the OG. Zero audio. I just love right how you changed his name to that for like a week. That's one of my favorites. The uncut, unfiltered is delicious. It is a just a so good. It is so good, so good. Mm-hmm. Do I have audio now? You do now. Yes. Ah, oh, we hear there you. We go. I've been talking like, why the hell is nobody hearing me? <laughs> How, why is nobody Man, here? Yeah, here, shit. Mother. But, but yeah, it's it's. Hell yeah! And hey, one more cast. I changed my name, by the way. I don't know if you've seen that. Mm-hmm. But. But I mean, yeah, I like this. I like this Knob Creek. I mean, I like Knob Creek always did, um, but this one here in particular is it's good. It's good. Yeah, actually, Very worthwhile. Very I worthwhile. To this uh, store pick over some other good stuff that I really enjoyed. Even the Disco Four, I picked it over that. Really. Which, which one did you pick? Is that a pick you said? Yeah, it's the one Burben got me. It's the just shy of 15-year store oh, pick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. Oh, so good, dude. Oh, yeah. Well, what's everybody else drinking in chat? We got some new if, people in there. Let us know. If Anthony was a good host, he would have highlighted me so you could see it better. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, he's, no. He's still new at this? <laughs> no. I just don't pay attention to that. I'm reading uh, the chat. Anthony, that'll be watch. part of the workshop next week is how to uh, how to solo somebody. Yeah. James Taylor, oh, I got it. feel good? Can't read the chat and watch the watch the people in the in the thing there. So, you know, I have to rely they know what they're doing. Uh, there's ways yeah, James to do it. Taylor. I just yeah. want to know if you feel good. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Wow. Really? That's right. So, tell us how you feel. Um, you, you just were. We were just talking about James Taylor, <laughs> <laughs> and ask. And I was asking if he felt good. Not right. everybody knows oh. that, Ben. I'm guessing it's a James Taylor song. Jesus, Ben. I am pretty sure everyone knows I feel good. <laughs> I don't. I probably know it if I heard it, but. I feel uh, good. You mean uh, that's that James Brown. That's, that's James, James Brown. James Brown. James what the Brown. hell? Yeah, uh, Ben. Ben's been drinking. Like freaking artist. <laughs> oh God! James Taylor is the exact opposite of James Brown <laughs> in you're every right. way. You're right. I was thinking wow. that song. Like, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. Good. <laughs> ben, so sorry. Ben. Uh, <laughs> he put himself in timeout. He did. That's good. The uh, uh, the B five twenty one. It's good, and you're right. For the price, it can't be beat. But yeah. The A one twenty one to me was a much much better. Oh, he's talking route. about he's talking about the larceny. larceny oh, barrel proof. Sorry, just caught that. I'm like, yeah, that numbers aren't matching up in my head. But if it's like me, my fingers don't always work on the keys. Yeah, David Bass, I haven't tried that. So Teach just got it today. He hasn't, I got it. I don't today. think he's cracked it yet. But not yet. Um. It hasn't dropped in Utah yet. I'm hoping in the next week or so, and I can't wait to get it, man. Like, I'm stoked for that one. I love the last two batches. The 920, I think, was better than the A121, if I remember. But they're both great. Tito, you're Herb. muted, bro. I don't know if you're trying to talk or not, but I see you making faces. No, he's, he's chewing. I, I didn't want people to hear me crunching. Oh, okay. What are you crunching on, Tito? I don't know. Something my wife got me that I would like. These are not. They're spicy, porkless, plant-based snack rinds. Oh my porkless? god! What is she trying to do to you? What the hell? <laughs> Where's your wife? I want to talk to her. Are you vegetarian? I was for 22 years. I was oh vegan goodness. for like twelve years, and then just veggie for another ten years, and I was now a vegetarian I'm, for a while. My body now you're back to porter house, house, right? right? Now I I'm back have to porter houses. Yeah, I might have to be a vegetarian the way beef prices have been lately. Yeah, I just bought just bought a half a cow. That's how I usually <laughs> do it, but uh, what I used to get for two thousand dollars is now closer to five thousand dollars. So, a hey, one more cast. This uh, Copper Skylight whiskey is really good stuff, too. It's only accessible in Colorado, but if you know anybody, it's freaking fantastic. Yeah, Whiskey Samurai, it'll, it'll drop here. It's just, I think, still another week or two out. But I am curious what you get it for in your area. I you haven't have seen it MSRP here in Vegas, enough. that's for sure. <clears throat> Yeah, sounds like it's hitting everywhere, dude. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't seen it yet. So maybe you guys will get it before me, Adam. Yeah, I know we got cases on order, and we usually get those batches on time. And it's already what <clears throat> a month late. So the last batch I've seen is C920. I didn't yeah. see the A either. I'm pretty sure we'll have it in a week or two. <clears throat> well, that's just so a problem. Get a couple with, bottles. I hate to say it, but when it drops in one area, it should drop all over. I mean, 
it's just ridiculous how some places have it weeks, months before. It's distributors. Smaller well, distributors no. can get it to stores quicker. Way quicker. And yeah. distilleries have no say. Once it leaves them and gets to a distributor, they have zero say in it. And stores have no say either until the distributor decides to give it to them. We got Russell's 13, too. It's literally in inventory and being pushed to stores. It just hasn't dropped at any yet. Please grab me one of those, Adam, if you can. If you can. If not, no worries, but please. I mean, number one's mine, but... Yeah, um, of course, of course. If I can number scoop two? any more, I, I'm going to. It's it's probably going to be allocated in the glass case, so I'll have to go, like, you know, I'll have to make multiple trips because you can only buy one at a time, but... We can always send Audrey on. I know, I know no matter how many I can get, we'll have people that'll want it, so... Right. Yeah, there's no getting stuck with those bottles. No, no. It, impossible. Impossible to be stuck with those. Mm -mm. Somebody will want it. Of course, I'll mark them up for you fuckers, too. No. That's right. <laughs> or expect nothing less. Dude, MSRP 70 bucks on those. That's... What? Not bad. Yeah. 70? 70 bucks. I thought they are going to be around 60, 65, but... Really? I thought they were going to be over 100. <laughs> That's what I thought, dude. 13 yeah, no. year Russells. I'm like, that thing's 13 gonna be year Russells. Bucks. It sounds like it could be almost like a master's keep. Oh, yeah. And yeah. those are way higher. Yeah. Now that you put it that way. I only have one master's keep. And it's, uh, yeah. Wait, not which cheap. one do you have? Uh, the Sherry, the Oloroso Sherry. Is it the Rye? The Cornerstone? No, it's up there. Hold on. I'll go get it. Mm -hmm. Give me one second. Rest of your... I have the Decades and the Cornerstone. Those are the two I have. 13 year. 69.99. Okay. 138 in the inventory. In the warehouse. Okay. Hopefully no one else is looking for them. Oh, fuck. No yeah. box. I wish everyone would get rid of the stupid boxes. Everyone's I looking for my, I don't even keep my master keeps in the dang boxes. I just, I don't know. I don't keep anything in the boxes. But it's such a nice box. It is, but I don't want to pay for the box. Yeah, David Bass, I think. Oh, I don't think I've seen that one. Larceny. I don't, I don't think I've heard of that one. Larceny right. doesn't hit as much as the. Uh, Elijah Craig, like even in my area where we get lots of the Elijah Craig and um, Heaven Hill in general, like Larceny's way less. Eight year dickel. No, I have not seen that. Anthony, thanks for soloing that shot. Appreciate it, buddy. Oh, one more <laughs> cast. Those C920s are great, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's that's my favorite batch in the past year. I still like the B five twenty better, but that's just me. There he is. Mm -hmm. See, I, but, well, I'm not holding it up now, but give me a second, I'll do it. Oh yeah. Nice. Uh huh. Yeah, nice one one proof. Yeah, I don't think I've even heard of that one. Well, wait a minute. Oh, that's revival, isn't it? I think I saw the beginning of that word. Master's key. I didn't realize that was Oloroso. It is too. You like that one? I still I haven't opened it. I still have the receipt <laughs> in the box. The receipt is literally right there. <laughs> that's you a good see price. It? It's upside down. 169. 169 after tax? That's a good price. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad deal. Not upset. Oloroso is a type of sherry. That's correct. Yeah, no, one, one more cast. Uh, one more people. cast, yeah. It's an, yeah, it's uh, a type of sherry. sherry. A sweet sherry. I've had sweet other sherry. Oloroso uh, finish whiskeys, and they're fantastic. So that's why I bought that. That's it. Speaking of sweet sherries, 
Sherry uh, G was great. Sherry G, I love when she shows up. <laughs> One yep. of my favorite people. Holy shit. The I just noticed the price on the Knob Creek 15 year in the our state went up to 120. Ooh. What? Yeah, that's I just saw it for like it was 99 before, right? Yeah, it's a hundred dollar. Yeah, uh, it was last year, but now it's 120 in our. Uh, we Knob don't have Creek, any. But Knob yeah. Creek 15, price. right? Yeah, is it a 15 100? It's not a 15 cask strength or anything like that. They're just running out of it. I think is what it comes down to. There's less and I less of that saw, available. Yeah, I think you're right, Cheech. Yeah, I um, just bought a week ago. Year went up two to seventy. Yeah, I think anything over nine year on the Knob Creeks are all going up because they have so little of it left. I just saw it for like presumably six bucks a week ago. What? What the twelve? Knob Creek fifteen. What? Fifteen for fifty six bucks? I've never seen it that cheap. How many did you buy? All of them. I I just didn't because what? I was running through somewhere. Yeah, but Walmart of all places. Oh wow! Walmart. The Walmart. We have one Walmart near me that has a liquor store, and they've had three different stickers on their shelves. One for. Blanton's one for Eagle Rare, and I forget what the third one is, but they're all like bottles you'd want. Oh, that's but, the rye. Oh, but for okay. six months, I've seen yeah. those stickers on the shelf, and they be empty shelves. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping one day they actually get them. The Blanton's was like fifty two dollars, fifty four dollars. Yeah, is what they had on there. Um, and I talked to the people, and they go, "We do get it in." But as fast as we get in and put it on there, it is yeah. gone. I said, so when you say you get it in, is it a bottle? They says, no, we generally get two or three cases. Oh, yeah. It's an employee that's buying them most likely. That'd be my guess. If they're smart. Selling yep. them on secondary. Yep. Because these aren't anything special on the Blantons. They're just the normal Blantons. But yeah, but as soon as people see that name, especially on secondary, yeah. they don't care what it is. Is they've heard Blantons, they want a Blantons, they've been and I know. conditioned to get a Blantons. Yeah, I'll buy it at fifty two bucks. I keep it on my bottom shelf. Yeah, I'll that's, buy it at fifty two bucks, but I'm not going to spend a hundred bucks on it. Yeah, yeah, it's and I've turned it down at a hundred, and I've turned it down at seventy nine. I do buy Blanton store picks at retail. Those those are worth it. Sixty bucks yeah. for a store pick. You know that way I know somebody's at least tried it. I mean they're all single barrels, but you know if you've got a store pick, and it's a store you trust. There's certain stores I go to all the time, and I kind of trust what they pick because they've yeah. been doing it for a long time. Yeah, yeah. One more cast talked about the Bowman single barrel. Very. It's much the not same. exactly Blanton's. It is supposedly Nashville too. And then once it gets to Virginia, they redistill it again. So it's a little different. I actually like that better, I think. Yeah, I've heard better. Maybe it's just because I know I'm it's not the Blanton's bottle, which is dumb, but <laughs> most stores around here for their Blanton store picks, you have to buy like literally it's one of twelve bottles. Oh, They'll yeah. make you buy eleven bottles to get that. That's ridiculous. That I leave those stores. They I'm oh, yeah. somebody else shop there. I don't shop there i i've told you that I, I i shop at two stores now is where i'm pretty much at and that's those two stores don't do that mm -hmm. but yeah that you know like i said i was pretty shocked to see that in walmart of right. all places that's Actually, crazy. That's where I picked up my last bottle of Eagle Eagle Rare a week ago for like thirty two bucks. Nice. Yeah, because everywhere else around there, it's over forty now. Oh wow! For Eagle Rare, yeah. Well, they're just it's rare. In other words, and then when they get it, they don't sit on the shelf. So like I said, I have a few people that I know and then they'll give me a call or send me a text and saying it's on the shelf. And sometimes I can say, put one on under the counter. I'll be there in 15 minutes so it doesn't disappear. But again, they're $40, $45 for Eagle Rare. Here it's starting not, to become a little harder to find, but before it was just on the shelves. Oh, like yeah. 
Like, yeah. I, I mean, recently, like the last month or so. Is I don't think I've been seeing it the last month or so. But before that, I was seeing it around everywhere. I just don't want to buy it. So Yeah. I've got I got two bottles of it now. So I drank my last one up at camp and then I had one here and then we had come across it. So I just bought another one. So I have Man, a backup. People, people in Tennessee good. where Whiskey Samurai is at are paying 90 bucks for Eagle Rare. Oh, hell no. Uh, ridiculous. It's 90 bucks at okay. a store near me. But I'm not buying it. Get the hell out Crazy. of here. Crazy. Yeah. I've you seen it for get 100 store picks here. for 40 bucks when they pop up, you know, 40, 50 bucks. I've, I've seen Eagle Rare for 100 here. And it, and and I did a double take because I said, is that the 17? Just because I saw 100 bucks. <laughs> yeah. No. That was just. It standard. wasn't a 1.75? <laughs> nope. No. Damn. Tito, is Eagle Rare common around you? It's pretty common, right? It was like like yeah. I was saying like I think like the last month or so it's I don't really see them that much but before that I was seeing them around pretty yeah. Eagle Rare's becoming less rare around me like all of a sudden that and Buffalo Trace have kind of like they're like oh Buffalo the Trace is that is everywhere here yeah it 30, is around thirty five right bucks too. in Utah for Eagle Rare I'd buy those all day long yeah Tim Evans it's not though it's <laughs> not good. Eagle Rare. It's decent. I mean, if you get it at retail, if it's 30 or 40, I'd, I'd say 40 bucks. I put it's still it at good. that. I'm in between them. Yeah, I think 40 it's bucks, decent. it's all right. Colonel, Colonel Taylor, um, small batch, five bucks more, 100 <laughs> I don't. You see it five <laughs> bucks more. Here, it's not five bucks more. Oh, and I don't see it often. I'm just saying, like, yeah. basically the exact same thing, but higher proof, way better. And E.H. Taylor small batch is a much better bottle. Hold on, let's oh, address yeah. the chat general, real I'm quick. Not, I'm not yeah. them. Hey, Lilith, thank you. Chris, enjoy the barbecue. Yeah. I tell you to send us some, but by the time it got here and got through customs, it wouldn't be worth a darn. No, it'd be rotten. See yeah. you, Lilith. Uh, yeah, for me. And yeah. Just- Lilith says Eagle Rare is $90 Australian. That's actually probably a pretty good deal for them, to be honest with you, as long as it's at least... Yeah. I, they probably proof it down though, Lilith. If you're still there, you can proof it down. So I've seen it even cheaper at Costco for you know Eagle uh, Rare. John says thirty bucks, but yeah, I, I've, I've seen 26. it cheaper. Is that what you've seen it for, Anthony? Oh, John's What's still up. Twenty six. Yeah, about twenty five bucks. Yeah, twenty five ninety nine is what I've heard at some Costco's. I've John, never actually got it at that price, but yeah. is that Eagle Rare? Yeah. Okay, so uh, Lula is saying the Eagle Rare is still ninety proof at ninety bucks Australian. That's probably pretty good for you guys. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, Buffalo Trace here is twenty eight bucks when we get it. Yeah, yeah, I can get Buffalo Trace usually for about twenty six dollars or so. Store yeah. picks are usually thirty to thirty five though when I see them. John T, how often do you see the? Eagle Rare at Costco for thirty bucks. I mean, is that something? Yeah, because I certainly don't. I know it's here. I hear about it. Yeah, it showed up once here around Christmas time last year, and it was there for exactly an hour, and they sold an entire pallet of it in an hour. Oh, yeah. For what they'd pay for it, I'd buy a case of it. Yeah, I'd buy a case of that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna hop off, guys. I got to be up in like five hours, so. Okay, man, All right. rest, buddy. Cheers, Have man. Cheers, boys. Cheers, Adam. Cheers. See you later, chat. Oh, it looks like uh, Bourbon checked out completely. That's all. Said, yeah, that's all, folks. <laughs> he must be napping. Well. I know he's if been he drinking pops with back his on, I'll know. Yeah, exactly. I'm probably not going to oh, wow. much longer either. I got a crazy week ahead of me. There's a lot going on the next few days in my life. Sorry to say that Elijah Craig did sell out. Oh, it's gone. It's gone, gone. Yeah. Did you? You got well, yourself one though, right? I got myself one. Well, that's good. And he usually holds some back, so I can ask him. 
But well, you know, nudge, nudge. Yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll ask, one, but one more cast. I know I he's don't. holding bottles of stuff because he's also opening a bar. Oh, okay. like, a, like a, a whiskey tasting place. Yeah, and so I know he wants to keep some bottles for that. But, oh well. Yeah, his stuff, like, almost all of his picks, like, he has a bin, like, Facebook group, and almost all the picks are sold out before they ever hit shelves. Frederick, good morning. Oh, Frederick's here. It's good to see you, buddy. Good morning, Frederick. Just sleep texted. <laughs> Anthony, what are you sipping on now? I have to think for a second. <laughs> <laughs> it's that part of the evening. Where you yes. get. Yeah, I'm like, where did I stop at or where did I go to? Um, I'm just poured a little bit more of the knob creek oh, okay 120 yeah i was thinking about having a little more of that rye just a little the rye's it's good. good it's so it's good. just plain good i wish i would have grabbed another bottle of this before they ran out of the store pick because it's that well good. yeah we've all been down there yeah my biggest regret is not i have this russell store pick that it, it's literally the best russells i've ever had and uh but they limited to limited it to one purchase, one bottle per purchase, and I went back yeah. like the next day and they were gone. Like I was there when they unbox unpacked them, and then the very next day they were already gone. Yeah. I was like, oh. Sometimes what I'll do is if I'm there and my wife's there, I yeah. just have her grab a bottle. Yeah. Especially that's if it's something idea. I know that's like, oh yeah, I got to get this. Yeah. When I was up in Tennessee uh, last year, we did the same thing with some Chattanoogas that were like limited to you know, distillery only you can get one i'm like uh i'm getting one and you're getting one wife thank you help me out exactly <laughs> hey ben thanks for popping on it's always a pleasure to have you in chat thank you cheers ben have a good one ben good to see you i'm actually probably going to wrap it up here to you after this uh after i finish this pour i think i'm with yeah. you yeah, I figured I'll probably go for maybe another 20, 30 minutes. And I said, finish this up and that will be that. But um, yeah, so like I said, in the beginning of starting this, I think the long branch is just going to be something that's going to sit on my bar. And uh, somebody comes over new to bourbon or just doesn't want the higher proof stuff. Absolutely, you can have it. I'll, I'll continue to drink my Kentucky Spirit, my 101, my wild turkey rye 101 my rare breed the rare breed rye you know anthony what did you pay for your uh, long branch i did not my wife okay. bought it for me as a gift so okay. i'm gonna say it was about 36 bucks that sounds about right yeah one of the it's 40 dollars retail roughly. yeah when i bought mine it was happened to be on sale for 29.99 and i'll be honest with you the reason i bought it is i really like the bottle I wanted to use the <laughs> bottle as an infinity bottle. Isn't it? That's what I said. It's one of the best damn bottles out there, really. And uh, yeah. I bought it, and I I drank it. I drank the whole bottle, but like at first I didn't like it. And when it got down to probably like the last third of the bottle, I really started enjoying it. But what I was doing is if I was – I'm not a huge advocate of day drinking, you know, but it was <laughs> like a Sunday afternoon, and I was going to be outside grilling, you know, if I was grilling food or something. I found it to be pretty refreshing – you know, as a, a lighter, you know, not heavy proof. But the bottle's nice. They did a really it good is. job on that bottle. And I made the same comment about the Infinity bottle. Um, but for me, like I said, it's 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 and it's got to be the mesquite that is the charcoal that's filtered through that gives yeah, it it's that. Definitely got a little thing to it. Yeah, that I just. Yeah, I'm just not into it. You know, that, that just doesn't do it for me. 
Show me how much you got left in that bottle. You're barely into it, right? Yeah, I found yeah. about four pours. I found out. that once it was below the label, it started getting a lot better. I think that's one that kind of needs a little air, a little bit. I mean, it's it's not high proof, but I no, do find but, that, that that was better with the layer. Or I do these like two inch ice balls every once yeah. in a while. And that that one over ice was a little bit better, more refreshing than you know than super flavorful. But I I didn't I didn't then, eat it. This is the pour from a couple of hours ago, and yeah. it's already turned. Yeah, it'll turn pretty quickly. Yeah. It's like, wow. yeah. When I say a couple hours, I'd say we've been streaming for almost three and a half hours. Yeah. So this is about four hours in the glass, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, really, people? What's going on in the chat? We still got Mr. Whiskey Shits hanging out in the chat. Yeah, he, he's probably getting ready to wash his feet before he goes to bed. So, you there know, you go. he's got a big day tomorrow. <laughs> big driving day. The rest That's of right. my week is insane. It's just. I'll oh, sleep I on, bet it is. I'll sleep on Sunday ish. Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Because it's between, already, what, 2.30 there almost? Yeah, 2.25 right now. Damn. This is my usual hours, though. This isn't anything special for me. So what time do you wake up then? Uh, 5.20. Seven In days the afternoon? Week. No. What's that? I get up with the sun. I kind of pictured you as an early riser, but how do you, yep. how do you do it? I just don't sleep a lot. I've never needed a lot of sleep. It's uh, just advantageous to what I do, not being much of yep. a sleeper. I'm I went over there's a price to years pay, of not sleeping. Now I need sleep. I've never been a sleeper ever, ever. I like getting up with the sun and I stay up until whatever I feel like going to bed and I get a few hours sleep. Five, five's plenty. It won't be five tonight, but that's all right. But, yeah. You're a madman. Yeah. yeah. Ben, you know, I'm going to tell you. It's not terrible. Don't get me wrong. It's just not my drink of choice. And, you know, it's just not. Um, I wonder if I'll they could go back it to it in another month. Yeah. You know, give it another world. If there was a long branch castor either, you know, something that where if they got it up to 100, I mean, I like the flavor profile of it. It's just watery. It's a little thin. You it, know? it is. And it, that's exactly what I thought. I go, yeah. It's like water. It really <laughs> it's wasn't thin. it's got no legs possible. in a glass or anything it's it's just wet it's a, it's, it's a it is yeah you know it's slicker than a greased pig nothing sticks to the side of that glass no, no but i think it's refreshing like i like the flavor profile of it well you know it and, might be good as a mixer too maybe if you made you know mixed it with lemonade it might really come alive i like i like that sometimes maybe i i, I don't know i mean you make me think about that um but did you guys yeah. look see Samurai's last comment? Samurai about his wife in the 107? Yeah. <laughs> and now she realizes she can't get it, so they're going bourbon hunting tomorrow. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. Mm hmm. Yeah, I like to look at the legs on the glass, too. Yeah, that's a big one. I, I do. I look at that, and then I know it's got some viscosity before I even yep. take the first sip. Anthony, when uh, I did that, uh, those barrel picks with HBR a few weeks ago for yep. Bullet, uh, when they brought out the – we had gone through four barrels at that point and tasted them. And we're like, well, let's see if there's anything else you can offer. Says, you got anything else? And they brought out this extra barrel. We call it we call it barrel five because it was the fifth one we tasted. But um, barrel five, as soon as I poured it in the glass, it had this th thickness to it. Like as I was pouring in the glass and it was splashing to the other side of the glen, it just hugged the entire glass. And I swirled that thing and just watched it. It was coated the glass so perfectly before i even tasted it, i was like oh this is gonna be good and it was oh the yeah mouth, the mouth feel on it was insane it just it coated the palate and it stuck there and you just kept tasting it and the finish on that one went forever i can't wait to get a hold of those bottles apparently we got about another another week 
or so another week or so before those barrels are going to be shipped and then uh, hopefully within two weeks that quick that's pretty quick for a pick it's been turnaround. a month since we've been there so they said six to eight weeks and i guess bullet yeah. bullet's got their single barrel program kind of dialed in right now so i'm doing another one we just did two more picks on monday but who knows when they're coming? Now you do the pick back- where they send the samples, though, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that takes a little longer since we were there. Yeah. yeah. And our understanding was is everything in the barrels were already bottled. They were just looking to assign them to to somebody's pick. That's why I say they kind of bullets got it kind of dialed in. They kind of know what they're doing as far as like they they know the barrels that they're using for barrel picks. They go ahead and bottle them and then hold them until somebody picks that barrel. Right. And then at that point, it's just a label and tag and logistically get it to whoever's the. Do they already have it in the bottles before. Yeah, the it's pick? already bottled. It's already bottled. They might be the only ones it. doing that then. Most That's what I'm saying. They've it. really kind of. Um, they might be. I think they might be setting the bar on this because that's kind of a good way to do it. <laughs> yeah. You know? Because then what you taste is what you're going to get. Because if it's still sitting in the barrel, it's going to change. Yeah, you're getting exactly. You're getting it the way it's going to be tasted by the end user, and I think that's pretty smart. So I don't dislike that. We just did a Jack Daniels barrel proof, a single barrel barrel proof, obviously single barrel, but and an Old Forester barrel proof pick. Oh wow! We'll see when those come. The Jack Daniels one came out really good. Yeah. Do you know what that's going to be proofed at? Is that going no? To be they a... they don't send the they proofs. They don't tell you. Right? Yeah. They don't tell you. Yeah. That's their thing. Um, that's kind of neat though. What, we that's picked what we think was the lowest proof of the picks, but it oh. it just it was that special. There was another one that was I think one of the higher ones. It had an amazing nose. But it was just flat as could be on the palate, and oh, and there was no finish. That's but the nose was unbelievable. I was I was there for hours just smelling it after we were done. But the one we picked had an okay nose, but the finish was phenomenal. So where were you doing these at? I mean, where? It was at at a store. At, okay. I want the store where I grabbed all those bottles from. Hmm. That I showed. Well, that's how kind of figured yeah but it's the ones where they send you the samples versus so you can't say what else you have because you either just reject everything and then they'll send you a new flight or a new set of barrels Mm -hmm. but all right Ben take it easy thanks for popping in again But, yeah, um, I got to take a sample of an old Forester that one of the stores here is going to do. And Mm -hmm. it was really, really good. And a Rebel, I don't remember if it's going to be a 10 or 12 year, but they're going to proof it down to like 113 or 110. I don't remember. And that was 10 or 12 year? Because most of those are like three year. No, this was a, I'm almost positive it was a 10 or 12 year. This was a special one. And I'm like, well, why are you going to proof it all the way down like that? It, they, they don't have a choice. It's all the, all the rebel ones are 113. Okay. So I knew it was somewhere odd. And I think this one was, was in at like 120 is what was in the bottle. Yeah. And they're going to proof that's it how down. They, do it. They, they send it to you full proof in the samples. And then, but you, don't, but then they proof it down to, 113 is, I think, either the Rebel or the Ezra. I think that's the Rebel. The Ezra is like 10-something, and you, you you don't have a say in it. It's just that's what they do it at. So mm-hmm. that's why the picks, when we got those, I went and got the bottles, and then I used um, pipettes and stuff and, and proofed it down. So we were sampling at least at the proof that it was going to come at, even mm-hmm. though the water not be the same water they – mix into it but at least then it's at the same proof versus sampling it and we always kept keep some and we do them the same blind or whatever 
with the barrel proofs and by far the one we would have picked if we were tasting it at barrel proof mm -hmm. at the proof that it was going to be bottled at was nowhere near as good as another one that wasn't yeah. as good at barrel proof. Yeah. So I yeah. liked it at 120 or whatever it was in the sample thing. I was like, man, this is good, but they were going to proof it down. Like that. So I think it, that's what it was. But yeah. one more cast, I think BP you're referring to is barrel proof. Yeah, he said, was yeah. it barrel proof? Was that? Not what is barrel proof. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the yeah, sample that Lefro sends out is, is barrel they're all barrel proof. Right. But then they don't give that, but that's not an option for what will be in the final bottle. It's weird. And they give you a little plastic pipette with it that is so inaccurate and isn't really <laughs> worth a damn. I prefer a syringe, so I have an idea yeah. exactly what I'm do, putting in. Yeah, w w w what I use are these. Is that a glass pipette? Yeah, it's a it's a glass pipette with a wheel, yeah. Yeah. and this and yeah, it's it's graduated it at. Yeah. So that's what I use. Yeah, he gave me the samples, and I stopped into the store to take them home to proof down, and he goes, "Oh wait, you forgot this," and then. I grabbed it from him and just threw it in the trash. I was like, we're not using that. That's not going to do anything for us. So one thing that um, they did when they sent the pick, mm -hmm. they also sent bottles of the water they're going to use. So oh, and they see, tell you, so they tell you that. if you add this much water, it'll be this proof. If you add this oh, yeah. much water, it's that proof. But they also gave you a glass container that... Um, had the water in it that they were going to use so you will know what it will taste like okay see that's better i just use wa the water that i had here versus that yeah and i'm sure that was a difference or he just handed me the bottles that yeah. were a barrel yeah so you probably and still had a water water. In there. it came in like a it's not a shoe box but a box that lifted right. up there were three different expressions in there there was a, a bottle of water um there were measuring devices and it had the graduations on so you knew that when you did this i was like wow but he said we like this just like this but it's going to come back at that because that's what they do so we're pretty excited and so i don't that should be out in like well next month but the uh las vegas bourbon society or las vegas bourbon club i forget well how they go they went in on this pick with liquor lineup. So it'll be one of these. Yeah, very similar. Yep. But like this, I want to say. Yeah, this one's less than five years. Well, or it's right around five years. Mm -hmm. it, the barrel was filled May of 2016. So oh, I didn't know that they were also doing aged ones. I'm pretty sure this is. I might have got it confused okay. with the old Forester, but oh no, no. The, one the old Forester picks are young. Those old yeah. Forester barrel proofs are young. Yeah, but there was another one too that I'm now I'm thinking about it. But anyway, they were all good. The Rebel at the 120, it was, I said, is good, but it's a little hot at that. And I go, but I'm, I'm getting loads of flavor on it. So I bet you when they drop it down to the 113, it should be pretty darn good. Because right now I said that the, the heat is coming out of it from the proof. And I said, so I think that's where it's going. And like you were saying, they're generally young. And so now I'm second guessing myself as I'm thinking about it. But maybe they got some barrels that were old. I mean, yeah, like who knows? Maybe they found a brand new. Something. Who knows? And that's, you're right. and that's Heaven Hill Juice. Although this month they're switching over to MGP. It was in July. I don't know if that means that that's when they stopped buying barrels from Heaven Hill or that's when some of the bottled stuff is actually switching over to MGP juice. But Luxro has hmm. switched over. I mean, it makes sense MG, when MGP purchased them. 
Well, but. yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly right. Exactly no. right. That's just the way it's going to roll. No, so I mean, if you if you like the flavor and all that of what's in any Electro product, it is changing. And I know it, it was a July date that they were switching over. I don't know if that was just the purchasing of barrels or if that was actually the juice going into the bottles. Hmm. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know. I do not know. But yeah, well, one more cast. They're pretty cheap. So, and and Samurai, the Jack Daniel single barrel barrel proofs. I've never had a bad one. Have either of you ever had a bad one of those? No. Yeah, I, I've never tasted one that wasn't phenomenal. This is one thirty point yeah. nine. Yeah. No. They're up there. Yeah, the, and, the uh, one we picked, I think, was a lower proof one. So I'm lower proof would be like what 126 this, of those. And I think this is the one my wife picked up for me in in uh, St. Augustine. What a nice she one! Was down there a couple weeks ago. That's yeah. awesome. Well, she sh showed it to me, and I looked get a little closer to that. I said, and she got closer, and I, as soon as she zoomed in, and I saw the 130, I said, buy it. <laughs> Because they do range in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They do, do you know range. store she shopped when she was down in St. PJ's. Okay. Is what I want to think. PJ's a good friend of mine. He's a he's a very nice man. Uh, yeah. That's where I, I got my Eagle Rare 17 from. So it's PJ's. And um, yeah. that's where I got. I'm just there today. That's where I got my um, Discovery 1. Yeah. He has one still on the shelf. He's got one. Yes, left. he does. There's still one, one there. He's got I'm one on the, the fence shelf. about buying that. <laughs> uh, okay, this is the last time we talk about that place. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Sorry. That's, what, that's a honey it. hole for me. I, I've known PJ for 20, 22 years. He's a very good friend of mine. So anyway, she was in there, and I think I left with like five or six bottles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I do that at all. And I think that's where I got all my Lost Monarch. Yeah, he's got good prices on that stuff too. They were like thirty five bucks. Yeah, thirty four ninety nine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. thirty five bucks. Like, what's neat about oh. that place? And like I said, we're going to talk about this one last time, and then we'll That's never a, speak of it again. Never. He, he has some of his personal collection in there. I know you weren't there; your wife was. Yeah. But he's got literally stuff stacked to the ceiling. It's not a very big store, no. uh, footprint wise, but he's got high ceilings in there and he's got some stuff stacked to the ceiling, like on the perimeters of the place. It's literally up to the ceiling. He's got all these cool old decanter. Uh, he's got some crazy decanters that I've never seen. These like Egyptian pyramid ones. And just, just mm -hmm. I'll take, I'll take some pictures of that and uh, maybe put it on my Instagram or something, but I don't want too many people to know about that place. <laughs> and Whiskey Samurai, that's about right. Yeah. I think mine was yeah. 69 Yeah, 70 bucks yeah. is pretty average on that. Mm -hmm. Now, Five, they seven, are highly eight. variable. I've seen some in as low as like in the 119s as far as like proof goes. Oh, that low? Yeah, that low. Under 120 is the lowest I've seen. It was like 119.4 or something like that. But it's pretty low. I had a taste of it. It was delicious. I could, I could tell you, it was very tasty. But uh, yeah. the hottest one I think I've had it was like close to one thirty-eight. It was way up there. And they have the hazmats coming out later yeah, this year. I, I can't wait. <laughs> Is that true? Okay, I I've heard about yeah. that, and I'm thinking, well, that's this, their special release for this year. Heritage yeah. okay. Her was a few years ago. The rye was last year. And this is gonna be a hazmat. This is okay. gonna be the hazmats. Can't wait. So what you're saying is buy two, if you can. If you, if you see them, yeah. Did you see the ride? Did you see the barrel proof ride anywhere? Never yeah. seen it. I saw it once, or I didn't see it. It it dropped at one of the stores, and I was like, oh, it's a Jack Daniel's product. I didn't even text the guy to say hold me a bottle. And I'd so love to try the one fifty, but I've never seen it. Yeah, I've never no, seen it. Well, when you do, that. buy it. <laughs> yeah, if Whiskey Samurai sees it, buy it and send there us all go. a sample. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. I, I haven't seen it either. If I see it, I'll buy it. 
I'll be honest you know with you, I good. almost never think about about JD when I'm out and about. That's like right. It's like True. It almost never cross. But I do. I do look at some of the barrel proofs every once in a while, but like as far as looking for anything else, it's like so far down on my radar. Well, but when you when you think of Jack Daniels or Jim Beam, you're thinking of their 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 flagship expression that's yeah. been around forever. So, but when you realize they make other expressions oh, yeah. that are woo, just knock your socks off. Yep. I mean, that their their flagship, they have a place. Well, okay, Jack but, Daniel Jack Daniel's worst whiskey is old number seven. Everything else is better, way better yeah. than old number seven. Well, yeah. But, but I said they, that's your flagship. Everybody just knows so that. much of it. And that's what I tell people. Yeah. Don't go by that. Taste that. And you will swear it can't be that. No, yeah. it is. But this is the difference. Well, I, I had said something to Jen uh, last fall about if Jack Daniels would just put out a cast strength old number seven, they would just wreck the whole the whole system. People would just be clamoring for it. I heard rumors a couple of weeks ago that might actually be happening. There might be a cast strength number seven coming out. So, Really? It could be interesting. We'll see. Yeah. Like I said, it was a rumor. You know, I can't confirm nor deny it, but uh, <laughs> that's right. It's generally a pretty good source. It's it's a pretty good source. So, uh, mm -hmm. but I would buy it just to try it. Um, Dusty bottles of old Jack Daniels for my collection. Hey, Whiskey Samurai, have you reached out to Dusty Dan? Because I bet he knows where there's some of those. Just saying. Yeah, he seems to have the luck of lucks when it comes to finding oldies and the goodies. Uh, they find him at this point. Yeah. If you know what I'm saying, there's enough people to know that's his thing, and uh, he probably just has them offered to him. But I that's know he true. He does He does also put in a lot of legwork finding that stuff, so uh, you could reach out to him. I've reached mm -hmm. out to him for a couple of things. And, uh, yeah, he, he would be the definite go-to person for yeah. something and like that. And then maybe uh, Top Shelf Dustin might actually run across oh, yeah. that stuff every yeah. once in a while, too. But I would t I would check with Dusty Dan first. One of those two, without yeah. a doubt. But I would go to Dusty Dan first. Yeah. But just because that's his forte. Yeah, I've but asked him to get me a bottle of anything from the year I was born and any size, like it could be a, an airplane bottle. It could be anything, could, any, any bottle of whiskey from the year I was born, any brand, any size. And we're the only thing I can say is who doesn't know whiskey samurai. Come on. <laughs> I promote whiskey samurai almost as much as I promote you and myself. I promote people more than I promote myself. I shouldn't lie there. I, Oh, I, I never promote myself. I almost yeah. never promote no. myself either. It feels I've so mentioned, weird and awkward. But I like I've it. mentioned, you know, you, Cheech. I've, I've mentioned other people on stream, you know, blah, 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 blah. I don't say anything about myself, period. I just don't. Other people mention me. I, I They've told me, oh, hey, I talked about you, and then I watched their uh, stream again, or I watch it because I missed it. I'm like, yeah. oh. It did plug me. Great. Yeah. I do more plugging of other channels, probably just in <laughs> chats, you know, that I'm uh, mm -hmm. on. But uh, I try. You're always it. dropping everyone's links everywhere. I try. It's hard. I got a, my list of links is pretty extensive now. I'm well over 200 different channels. Oh, wow. And you don't oh, think there's that many, but there's easily there's that tons. many. Yeah. There was one day last week that. I think I had six different channels that I'm a wrench on all streaming at the same time. <laughs> so you kind of got to play fra favorites at that point. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, you just got to be like, okay, well, yeah, but you know what? But Cheech? I usually pick, the, I pick one of the big ones that I do. And then I pick which channel I think I can serve the best that I could help out the most, you know, yeah, you know, steer people to their channel where I think, well, you know, they're offering something up that's different enough different. when you're on the junkies i mean they're big yeah they but are. when you're helping out adriana yeah that's the up and coming exactly yeah. and that's how, exactly how i approach it i try to support the ones that are like the the mass appeal because mm -hmm. i have an opportunity to promote the ones with you know just like you know if you talk about a channel it's got less i like to say the ones that are under 500 
if you've got yep. 500 or less subscribers, you probably need the most help. Mm -hmm. You know, because there's there's a couple little humps in there that are hard to get over. You know, yeah, that 250 is hard to get over, and it seems like once you get to 250, then 300 is easily in your sight. But then there's this little lag again, like at 300 to 350, and maybe even all the way to 400, it grows way way slow. And then that last hundred to 500 also, you know, you might. Get well, my goal is to get there. to the hundred yeah. and get my own URL. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there, I wish more channel. That's part of the reason I wanted to have the uh, the kind of the round table on that. There's a lot of yeah. channels that have that ability right now to have a custom URL, and they're not doing it. And no. I'm talking about some channels that have almost a thousand subscribers, and they're still not using a custom URL for their channel. And uh, as a mo as a moderator, I'd much rather it was a custom URL. Yeah, it means, it means my link dropping could be less wordy. I could put less information in there because. I wouldn't have to mention the channel name as well as, you know, a few other things to, to get people to see it. But mm -hmm. that's one of the easiest things to do. If you've got a hundred subscribers or more and you've been around for 30 days, uh -oh. I mean, it's a super easy benchmark. Mm -hmm. You can change your URL from, you know, youtube.com backsplash XZ, whatever for like, there's like 90 characters after that to just your channel yeah. name. And then all of a sudden you're branded. And if you look at yeah. it as you're branded, like now, Whiskey Encore is a brand. Bourbon Neophyte will be a brand. Mm -hmm. Libation Expert is a brand. And that way, when I, when you have that URL and then merchandise that go along with it, you know, everything just ties together a little bit better. That's all. I have no Listen, idea. You know, what I'm, yeah. He's drunk. No. Yeah, I think he's been drinking. Well, but don't make him bad. No, no. I'm, I mean, I hope he's been drinking. I've been drinking. <laughs> I can't catch a buzz tonight for some reason. Might have to hit some of that light whiskey. There you go. That'll help. I haven't cracked my bottle, but I've gotten. Uh, what do you got? You got a hazmat? Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. 136. Yeah. I've got no one hazmat. that's like 138.6, but I have some hazmat too. I, um, I got a hand delivery. I don't have the hazmat, but I got a hand delivery from somebody. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, I see it. Yeah. One, two, three. There's a few of them. Three. Oh, there's four. No, two, four, five. <laughs> right? Yeah, there's a few. Let's just say there's a few. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, between light whiskeys and uh, rye that's over there, and then my NASIF, I think I've got. I think I've got 13 bottles total. Of, okay. Uh, I saw light two, four, looked like five or six on that shelf. I'm going to say yeah. five. Yeah, of the light whiskey, I think there's six, and then I have. I think I have seven of the uh, NASA Family Reserve, their, their American whiskey. I really like that stuff. I think they do a great job with their blends. Well, you know what? That's something that just strikes your palate, and it's like, yeah. man, this is just, this well, is it. I brought a bottle of the ADHD whiskey blend up to Shane's house when we did that get-together. Uh, I guess it's getting close to a couple months ago now. But I brought a fresh crack of that, and we almost finished the bottle. So, you know, you talk about nine people total. I cracked that bottle on a Friday. And when I left on Sunday morning, it maybe had, I don't know, two or three pours left in that bottle. But it was, it was the, it was one of the hits for sure. That was a, that's a oh. great, great blend. I wish I could have got more of them, but. And the thing about it is it doesn't drink no. as hot as you think it would. Not even close. It just the light doesn't. whiskey is like a butterscotch bomb. It's you know it's the vanilla, the caramel, the butterscotch, that, and the, the proof doesn't ever seem to come into no, play. Which is but dangerous. you will know depending <laughs> yeah. on how many of them glasses you have. Yeah. it will come get you. Yeah, a few weeks and, ago, Jen did a pour for me. She's like, "Hey, I, I, I'm like, hey, will you get me a pour? This is before I had my shelves and everything set up, so whiskey was everywhere in the house." And I'm like, hey, can you just pour me something? I'm modding right now. And she's like, yeah. And I'm drinking. I'm like, man, this is good. What is it? She goes, oh, I got you something. Uh, it's just easy to sip, you know, lower proof. I'm like, well, which one is it? She goes, it's a, it said light whiskey on I'm like, that's not low proof at all. I'm like, it drinks like lower lower proof, yeah. but it's not low proof at all. Like, that's the highest I know. proof stuff I have. And but, I felt it. And I mean, it was a heavy pour, too. It was probably a three-ounce pour. And I drank oh, yeah. it all, but that's all I drank. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? I felt every bit of it. Hey, sleep came 
easy. Yeah, I have no problem with sleep. Oh yeah, <laughs> I sleep. But I'm I like sleep. you. I can Hard. do this. Have yeah. a couple of pours. Yep. And it could be one o'clock or two o'clock in the morning, but I'm still up when the light comes through the window. Yeah. Yeah. That's my still only up. thing as a musician. All you do is you learn to get to sleep before the sun comes up. But for the last 20 plus years, I get up, you know, uh, that's why Tito dipped. He just changed his URL. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. That's what I'm talking well, about. Yeah, I got a whole have, list when, of stuff, all the channels that can do to improve their situation. That's I want to save that for a private broadcast for mm -hmm. all those channels in the 500 and under category. That's kind of what I'm, I'm aiming for. Cause well, a and a lot of people are, don't know that, Cheech. Yeah. And I just like them, they don't they know. Don't know. Yeah. And, so, you know. I'm glad you changed that, buddy. That will yeah. make things a lot easier for you. And now you're exactly. branded. Now you are libation exploration. You own it. It's yours. But yeah, and then like I said, that hundred sub mark is is your first. It's a benchmark. Boom. Yep. You know. Then you go from there, and you're off and to move the races. Up. Yeah. But all right. Well, we're gonna call it a night, Cheech. That way you can get ready to yeah. relax. I really <laughs> appreciate. I don't know if you. I've been like on my phone, and which is kind of rude, but I've I've got a lot of stuff going on. But uh, I'm. I'll probably be up for another couple hours. I might not sleep tonight. We'll see. Well, <laughs> you're probably going to take a cat nap. No, nah, no. Nah, if the sun comes up and I'm awake, I just stay awake. And I, you know what's funny, though? I'm the same way. I may feel tired or whatever, yeah. but the minute the sun touches my eyes yeah. and then I start my morning, yep. it's like you pull the cord on the lawnmower and I'm going. But come three or four in the afternoon, if you sit me down, I'll fall asleep for a little bit. But then a couple hours later, it's like, boom, and I'm off to the races. I'm it's looking not right now in the chat, and apparently Marty is still in the chat. Whiskey Marty? Nose, Whiskey Nose is still in the chat. He's probably asleep. But if you're awake, Marty, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you hanging out. Hey, Whiskey Samurai just said he's up to 28 subscribers now. He hadn't checked in a while. Whiskey Samurai, I'd like you to produce some more content, buddy. We yeah, like a, a new video from you, man, so I can promote your new video. Oh yeah, let's get you up right. there in subs. There's, there's no exactly get you up to a hundred in the next next few weeks, as long as you're putting oh, yeah. some sort of content or join Anything. us in a live stream. Exactly, join in. That helps too. We'll put your we'll put your link in the chat and. Yep. Yeah. Steer a little bit your way. That's how it happens. Mm -hmm. A little at a time. Bourbon baller. Good night. Anthony, thanks for having me, buddy. Oh, Cheech, you know you're always welcome, my friend. I appreciate what you do for for us all, man. It's yeah. always great to have you on. It's great to have these people in chat. And uh, yeah, good just, people. That's Still right. We got just eleven have... people in chat, Anthony. I'm just letting I know. Uh, I know. Unbelievable. It is, but I appreciate everybody, and just want to say you all have a great evening, Cheech. Look forward to talking to you again. Yeah, we'll do it again real soon. We will. <laughs> All right, everybody. All right, I'm going to dip. Yep. Have a good night, Have a good Anthony. evening, everybody. Good night.